Where did I put all my popcorn? Ooh. Hello, good morning. Wow, I kicked my monitor, but it's good. We're all good, we're all good. Hello. Wait, do I sound different? Oh. I sound different? <laughs> okay, is this better? Hello, hello? Okay. I got my new PC. So this is my first stream on my new PC. So that's why it was like that. Hopefully, okay. Uh, I always forget to fix settings like that. Audio ones are always the ones I forget for some reason. Hello. Oh, my nose. Hello, chat. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, it's my first stream on the new PC. I don't even, like, I had to set up my OBS settings and everything, like, create new scenes and all that, so just let me know if things look wrong. <sighs> new PC, new webcam, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have another new thing, but that's being announced today at, like, 3 p.m.-ish on Twitter, but you'll see. I have one more new thing. Yeah. 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 Um Let me see. With the new PC. Oh. I'll do this later. Um, sorry, give me a second. Uh, Astap 2007, thank you so much for the resub. Uh, where are my alerts? Oh, it's right here. How come I don't hear my alerts? I did something wrong. Okay, it should be good now. I fixed it. There we go. Soft Popoki, they were the hundred bits. Jesse Who, they were the six months. Welcome back. X Delta Alpha, thanks for giving us up to ask that. Lethal Storm, they were the five months. Welcome back. Rebel, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi. Okay, sorry, I had to do some stuff. Yeah, new PC is hard, okay, chat? It's hard when you're first streaming because it's like, I don't remember anything. Okay. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. A lot going on for me. You just, like, think everything's fine and then you, then you go live and you're like, nothing is fine. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Okay, I got this. Okay. 720. Okay, we're good. No, no rush. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's because like when you stream, you need so many programs. 
you need like your OBS, you need all the scenes, you need the audio all checked out. I had to fix my audio on my end. Um, uh, and then I also have to do some like sponsored stuff since this was sent to me. So I have to make sure that like I have to do stuff basically. Deliverables. You lost me at scenes. Yeah, it's not easy to test stuff. Anyways, we're going to start now, though. Five minutes, you know, get that big. Well, I got a PC out of it, so, yeah. Do you want to continue with emo only for season four? Um, <clears throat> were you guys getting a lot of people, like, spoiling who was the winner? Because that's, like, my biggest concern. Like, I don't want to know who the winner is. It's a very nice PC, yes. Mimi, Mimi 303, thank you for the prime. Thank you. They definitely spoiled me. Chat, please don't spoil it. It's not that hard. You know what? At this point, I don't think it's like a difficult thing. It's more so like it's intentional at this point. Like when people spoil, they're doing it on purpose because they just want to see the world burn. Yeah. Thank you. I'm wearing a MAC lipstick and velvet teddy. <clears throat> uh, Jelena, thank you so much for... For the two months from Kijiyama. Thank you. Do I have TTS on? The Coupe de Gras, thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back. Sorry, I lost my voice. I, w I went to the fair yesterday and um, <clears throat> screamed a bit. Everything is really quiet for me. Oh, no. Give me a second. My alerts are too quiet. See, like, I got a new PC and now all of a sudden I have to play with my other settings too. Like, this is a mess. A mess, I tell you. A mess. <sighs> I lost all my alert variations. Like, how does that happen? Like, I don't have my gift sub alert variations anymore. This is a mess. This is actually a mess. Yeah, it was saved on cloud, so now I have to do it all again. Oh, chat. Oh, woe is me, chat. Oh. I'll do it later. I can't do this now. This is so much to do. I can't like sit here and just do this in front of you guys. Nega Zuta is one thing with the 14 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Shafsta 2004 thing with the five months. Welcome back. Puzazu thing with the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. All right. No, it's okay. Life is a mess. <laughs> New PC is great. But just setting it up to stream is not so great. <laughs> Steve farted into his mic on stream today during Among Us. Thank you so much, Fox News. I really wanted to know that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Is it going to be loud enough? Months ago, 
Is that good for you guys? The game is not at 3.30. On Twitter, it says Ray will be live at 3.30. I'll download volume boost. Sorry. It's just like... <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. Okay. Um, 300 biz. Thank you, Soft Pokey. Thank, Thank you. you. I heard from Arya. It's four. It's four. You don't have to hear. You guys don't trust me. Why do you have to hear from Ray or Arya? Huh? It's B. And I said it's four. So it's four. Donna, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Thank you. I am a professional wrestler. Goodness. Eat my fair popcorn. All in pursuit of a place in the Master Chef kitchen. It's perfectly seasoned. Really good. A professional cook would be proud to put a dish together as good as this. That is one of the best dishes I've ever tasted. Thank so you. But only a handful will get to prove themselves to three of the biggest. This is fucking bomb. I feel better already. To me, a Master Chef is constantly innovating, trying things. Donna. No one would ever dream of. Oh, it's Joe spicy. The hallmarks of a Master Chef are elegance, sophistication, and finesse. And Holy Gordon fuck, Ramsey. this is on Every fire. Every dish, as if their life depends on it. A Master Chef. It's the flaming hot place. Cheetos Joe! popcorn. Those who make it will have to endure some of the most intense. Speed up, everybody. And are they spoiling? Master Chef has ever seen. This is ridiculous. My son and make my culinary dream a reality. I hope and pray that the judges see in me what I see in myself. Now, 100 home cooks will get the chance to present one dish that could change their lives forever. Just an elite few will win an apron and earn a spot in the next round of the competition. In the end, only one home cook will be titled Master Chef. Oh, um. Okay, I'm used to this spice now. Dude, this is so good. I wish I bought like 10. Mm. Congratulations on making it this far. You have already succeeded. Oh my God, there's some people crying. You are about to do battle in Master Chef, which is the biggest. Kioni, thanks for gifting five subs. Today. Thank you. Thank you so much. End of all of this, fame, notoriety, and this. A quarter of a million dollars. Dude. Okay. It's fake money. Joe, it's but fake. Don't fucking lie. Okay, yeah, it's so fake. Holy shit. Imagine if it was real, though. If you came here just for the cash, then leave now. Mad Eve, thank you for the prime. Thank you. It comes and goes. But what's inside this box will ensure your culinary legacy. Your mic is very loud compared to the video. The MasterChef trophy. Look at it. That is the proof. That your journey from home cook to MasterChef has been completed. At this moment, the winner could be any one of you. We only care about one thing. What you put on the plate. If it's bad, you'll go home. But if that dish is extraordinary, you'll be getting one of these. Cool. Rabbi Show, thank you for the sub, thank you. Do you have what it takes? Do you have the skill? Do you have the guts? Do you have the passion to become America's next master chef. Good luck. 
Want some? Oh my fucking god, it's loud. Best palettes in the world right now. This is an incredible opportunity. So many people tried out for this, and for me, this is like a chance of a lifetime. I got this. I got this. This year, I know the judges are tough compared to season one, two, and three, but we're gonna give it a shot. From the thousands that applied, just 100 home cooks have been invited to Los Angeles. They'll have one hour to create a signature dish worthy of a Master Chef apron. Yeah! First up is Natasha, a 26-year-old <laughs> stay-at-home mom who thinks she has all the ingredients for a winning dish. Today is the day that's going to change my life forever. I have the confidence and the energy and the level to just bring it. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My son, Diego, he just turned one years old. I love to be in the kitchen. Diego, what are you doing? And I can't spend as much time in the kitchen as I'd love to because I'm constantly being on the go. Sub only I mode? The judges taste and see my food. The competitors, I could really care less about. <laughs> it's my time to shine. I would not be here if I didn't think that I was going to get an apron. I see a lot of people already talking. Five minutes to wow. If two of the three That's so weird. they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and move on to the next stage of the competition. Mimi Panda, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Progona Cloud, thank you for the sub. Oh, it's too spicy. Good evening. Hi, guys. How Hi. are you? First name is? Natasha. Natasha, you got five minutes. Okay. What are you doing? I'm doing a mm. dose of panadas with two sauces. I got a skirt steak and a chimichurri sauce. Rock and roll. All Let's right. Go. Skirt, skirt. What's the food dream, Natasha? I would like to have something that people can go to and feel like they're walking into their own home. You know, I know what they want. They know what they want. Thanks for the very two casual, months, James. HS. And then also in the and evenings, Gigi, thanks for the sub. The sub, thank you. A little bit of a cooking class. You can come and try different flavors that I've learned and have fun. That can chimichurri is so, so green. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me, fiery, smoky, hot. <laughs> Okay, guys. Presentation. Wow. Yes. Would you guys like some beer with us? Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? Why not? You're not trying to get us drunk, are you? I mean, I don't mind. You don't mind? So. So here I've got a ground beef, hard Italian chorizo. And this one? That one's a Swiss chard, fennel, and some Parmesan with a roasted corn puree. Damn, Gordon. Those are some big bites. I'd be like, hell no. <laughs> oh, God. Did she answer? How come she didn't answer? It's beautiful. Now, is this really how you cook, or is this like some big rehearsed thing? No, honestly, this is how I cook all the time. Did you make your own pastry? Yes. Oh. Gordon's face. I've never seen him look like that. <laughs> I didn't think you could actually pull something off that, that tasty. Um, it's got a lovely balance. Um, chimichurri, absolutely spot on. And empanada, yeah, I mean, uh, you've nailed it. Uh, for me, it's a. Uh, uh, wow. Yes. Delicious dish. You could, you could Ryan, thank you for the seven months. Time. Welcome back. Thank Bravo. you. Very good. That's a big yes. There's three things. You have a fighting spirit, you call it as you see it, and then you make food that's like that, that you can just eat over and over. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here you go. Oh, my Here God. You go. Good job. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you, All guys. Right. <laughs> I'm on top of the world, honestly. I'm not shocked. I know I was going to make it. They're like, wow, she's a good-looking girl, and she can also cook. I am the next master chef. You know so what? Natasha is the first you go, girl. You have that confidence. Let's Our go. Our hopeful is from San Diego. Can 19-year-old Christine turn her ambition into an apron? My dream is to be one of the best chefs out there, up there with Gordon Ramsay and Graham Elliott. I'm not selling for anything less. I know people are going to underestimate me because I'm young, but I have bigger dreams than anyone out there. Ooh. I don't want to just become a chef. I want to become one of the Yeah, best 19. Chefs ever. Hi, I'm here. 
I can see you. First name is? Christine. Uh, how old are you? I'm 19. 19? Yeah. Wow, I think so far the youngest in the competition. Yep, the youngest. Right, what are you cooking? <laughs> I'm cooking a Korean duck for you gentlemen today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Five minutes to blow us away. Are you intimidated being out there, being the youngest contestant? No, actually, I'm really excited. I know people are looking down on me because I'm young. Underestimating you. Yes, underestimating me, definitely. Oops, sorry. You have three <laughs> minutes left, so. Three minutes? What? Wow, OK. You OK? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> it's duck with what? Um, actually, it's a kaiyubi marinade, which is um, Korean short ribs, but I use duck instead. Right. Are we ready? I think so. <laughs> That looks so, fucking bomb! Like a sort of lettuce wrap? In Korea, when we eat Korean barbecue, we wrap it in lettuce and have samjang sauce, yeah. which is the mm, sauce on the top. Mmm, sauce! Yeah. Uh, because that's white fat, right? Which is raw. And okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. So you roll that up? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I eat the okay. fat. I didn't know it was raw. Am I gonna die oh. from eating the fat? Carl Walker, 85, then the two the months. Welcome back. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a recipe that you invented or? Yeah, I invented it. <sighs> Joe! I love Korean food and Korean barbecue. You've lost the humbleness of it, almost like you're trying to run before you can walk, so... Musies, thank you for the prime, thank you. Uh, Joe, Gordon, I think you're completely wrong. For me, <gasps> it was a perfectly cooked <gasps> duck. The rice is delicious, the sauce is unbelievable. I think the dish is a little ill-conceived, but as components, fabulous. I love it, for me it's a big yes. Thank Good you job. so much. Graham? Um... I can do this. I wouldn't be here if I think I couldn't do it. I can show you guys if you give me the chance, definitely. Graham, say yes! Christine's Korean duck has left Gordon and Joe divided. Her name's Christine! I think you're completely wrong. You know? All Christines are talented! Dreams are just one vote away. I can do this. I wouldn't be here if I think I couldn't do it. Here's the thing, you're young, you've got natural skill. I'll smack a 12 thing for the prime, thank you. For me. <gasps> He's gonna say no, I can feel it. It's a no. Oh my God, I hate being right. I want you to continue cooking. I want you to use this no. as inspiration to get back in the kitchen and keep moving forward. He but got Doreen on. Thank you for the tier two quality. sub and the five months. Thank you. No, it was, it was when I he said you're young, and I was like, oh no, that's not a good fucking sign. He's like trying to lessen the blow, you know, like hey, at least you're young. It's okay. It's okay, Christine. I came here to make my dreams come true. You know. I'm only 19. I'm gonna grow and learn. Whole entire damn thing. You got so this! Christine failed to get her apron. Did anyone ever actually Did come back? Chef search across the country. Unearth any raw talent. For what we're making today, fresh rabbit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we're eating ostrich? Asher Jake Frittata. What are you cooking? Wild bear. Wild bear. With my own special rub. Deep fried giant water bugs. Giant like water bugs? Cockroaches? They're water bugs. I'm excited. I've never had bear. Would you like to smell my rub? <laughs> <laughs> I have no interest. Steve is smelling your rub. <laughs> I chopped half of the rare end because they're pretty salty. <gasps> do you cook a lot? I do. We have a 40 acre pot. Is he feeding them bugs? Them. Gun. One quick shot to the head and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my oh my god! Sorry. Ew! I hate 
bugs. That shit looks like a it fucking like cockroach. In the place. It's a no. I can't. For me, it's a no. That was barely. I'm it horrified right now. <laughs> I couldn't bear it. After a run of wildly unsuccessful dishes, Brian from Texas hopes his unusual ingredient will help get him an. That's apron. a fucking cockroach, right? Oh my God! Jesus Christ! The whole family. This is a beaver tail right here. It's very difficult. I, I, yeah, I. I want just the apron. Spam. I want the trophy, man. Take We're just gonna ostrich. ignore the ostrich. I think it was like the egg of the ostrich, not the actual ostrich. I'm ready for this, man. T Dang Ten, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good evening. Have I got something for you? Can't wait. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Brian. What are you cooking? Uh, this right here is a shaved and this stripped cajun beef. This right here beaver. is okay. my sway. with frog chips. Okay, you have five minutes frog to prepare. Frog chips. Frog's so not that it. weird. Stripped and shaven beaver. Okay, uh, beaver is weird. Something unique about beaver, uh, they eat a lot of our mesquite trees out there. So I shaved off some mesquite bark off the tree and incorporated it into my Southwest Cajun style seasoning. Aren't you just a crafty guy? <laughs> <laughs> What does it taste like? Uh, yeah. It's a, a little richer than a beef. <laughs> Jared Benita so saved the two beef. months. Welcome What's back. That? This is the actual tail. So I fillet it open. In Canada, tail. we have wow. like a tight. dessert called beaver tail, but it's beaver. not actually now, made out of. Jumps around, I pull my 22 and pop out. Homemade. He's not actually a. He's not a beaver. Right it's incredible. It's like a Done. donut shaped in a beaver tail. Smells great. Thank you. It literally, you Yo, why is his eyes feet. like that? I'd have to disagree. Cajun style beaver. What the There's fuck? There's a lot of stuff going on in the dish here. I've never quite Oh my god, this guy like is on drugs. <laughs> Or something. I Single don't know. Bottom. I don't understand. Is really the <laughs> Those are the eyes we see in JCS. From the top you know? All the way to the bottom. It, it got that depth of seasoning. The foundation's there. Interesting. Do you remember that one cop where she's like... Turned on by the beaver. Remember that cop? Dude, like beaver no shot. Man, he actually this looks like, like this. cooking competition and... Um, I don't buy in. I'm a no. You're a bit of a freak for beaver. I will not let you down. But is that one of the tastiest dishes I've tasted in this competition so far? Gordon, I think you have to say no because yeah. I'm going. Thank you. Gordon, I'm yes. I'm, Thank you. me right. and chat, we're going to. Okay. We're just gonna. So bad. I'll show we're just you. gonna look at his eyes the whole time in the whole show, please. We can't do this. Oh God. Oh God's chat. I'm going to take home the trophy, baby. Yeah. This is the first day to achieve my goal. Not only just for the 250,000, but my god, this guy's a furry. I get it. It does look like he's wearing the towel. Coming up, it's one of the best opening dishes that we've ever tasted. Joe predicts this year's Master Chef winner. You are oh. going to watch, my friend. Yeah. Oh, wow. later, You're spoiling in the middle of the fucking episode. Motherfucking show? Why? Why? So far, only two I'm angry. While many more. How could they? No. Sadly, I'm a no. I'm sorry for me, it's a no. Have met with disappointment. I'm here to kick some ass. Ken Jordan, a 29 year old from Minneapolis, deliver the goods. I'm a delivery driver, but I'm not on this earth to deliver packages. I have my father and my uncle here today. I dropped everything to come to MasterChef. To be here means the world to me. It means that I can live a culinary dream of mine. 
Old man Fallen, thank you the 44 months. Welcome back. Thank Flat you. Man, man. Oh, thank you for subbing three months in advance. Hello, chefs. How are you? I feel great. Right, first name is? My name is Jordan. What are you cooking, Jordan? Ancho chili tostada. Great. I got uh, one of my key sauces that y'all are gonna love. You got five minutes. Here All we right. go. Sweet. Matt K, hey, thank you for the two uh, months. Welcome back. Mother. Thank you. She taught me early to uh, bring people over, give them food that they like. Aww. Can you still cook for her now? She actually passed away five years ago. This is her age. Why would you ask that I joke? When I was about 14 years old for I'm Christmas. Kidding. Um, but fuck, this is sad. It means the world to me to have something, something that reminds me of her with me. She died from brain cancer, so when she was under the, the decline, cancer! that's when I kind of started picking up the ropes of the family get-togethers and whatnot. What would she be thinking right now? <laughs> she don't swear much, but she would say, holy <laughs> You seem very intense, very serious about what you're doing. I don't screw around. What do you think about the competition out there? There's some competition. Food-wise, I'm not seeing a lot of technique. Chat, have you seen, like... But I'm going to bring you some technique. Conspiracy the theories. This is the cilantro mint aioli. This is kind of my secret sauce. And ginger, conspiracy lime, theories about how, how the government the actually does I'm have the done. cure for a lot of, like, Where are you going diseases, with the cancers. I'm an artist. I like to but they just, like, and, uh, I like to don't come out with it. My plates, a lot of color. Or something. I don't know. It's a pretty intense conspiracy yep. theory, but no emo only this time. I trust my subs. You know, like why would you pay five dollars just to spoil? All right, so nice plating. It's like Thank unlikely you. for someone to hate the world so much and also want to spend money. You know, I don't know. And how'd you write your food? A ten, chef. Wow. A ten. Graham? I don't know, Jordan. I'm... I'm... Looking at that right there, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. The Oscar Goesto, they were the prime. Philipson, not, they were the two months. Welcome back. For each of us. Macro, Pierre, that White Clips from Master Chef. He used to so teach Gordon good. Ramsay. I'm gonna watch season four first, but maybe flavor, off stream I'll check it out. I just want more and more. So I'm a huge yes. Good. Yeah, I mean, you're a delivery driver. Correct. And in chef. my mind, you have delivered one hell of a impeccable, beautifully balanced dish. When someone says yes. one hell of a. Jordan, come here. Come is on. it bad that I think like one hell of a drug? Stand up here with us. That's your mom's apron? Yes. Take it off. Hold oh. on to it tight. I'm going to tell you something that would make your mom really proud. That dish, it's yeah. one of the best opening dishes that we've ever tasted. You just raised the bar. Oh, um, thank you, guys. You are the one to watch, my friend. Whoa. Keep your mother close to your heart. Oh, my God. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, great job. Thank you guys so much. I just got shivers. Unbelievable. Huh? <laughs> Incredible. Everything thought out, well planned. Unbelievable. Okay, to be fair, I love watching Master Chef on stream. Like, I would not want to watch this by myself on the TV. You know what I mean? Like, this is fun. I watch Hell's Kitchen by myself, though. <laughs> but I'm not really watching. I'm playing TFT. And it's just in the background. I hear Gordon screaming, It's raw! I did this for my mom. She would be blown away that I was even Aww. in this situation and that I get to bring home an apron for now. That's absolutely incredible. Oh. Love you, Dad. Have, safe, have a safe Around drive dishes, home. The judges find it hard to swallow. Oh. Breast milk. Ew! And Master Chef history is made. <laughs> I take it that's a yes. So far, aprons have been hard to come by. Howdy, gang. And it keeps spoiling me, up. but the spoilers were just so juicy, I couldn't skip. That is drier than a camel. Are they dry? <laughs> yes. We're going to eat raw ramen. Sometimes I'm getting spoiled, and I don't even realize I'm getting spoiled. I mean, I that's fine. I am making uh, baked macaroni and cheese with a major twist. And what's the twist? 
breast milk. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. Banana slices. Raw mushrooms, chocolate brownie, lettuce. Oh, my lettuce. Okay. Oh, my oh. God. Sorry, the breast milk is fucking... Oh, it would throw up. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Oh, oh. Okay. It fills you up. It's nutritious. It's delicious. The brown rice vinegar actually helps with muscle soreness, <laughs> irritability, and fatigue. How'd you make it this far? Well, I am a good cook, normally. But the thing is, there's actually no oil in that dressing, so you can really lose can we just weight. just finish the sentence first? I feel like I've just kissed a bison's <laughs> That is disgusting. For me, that's a no. Joe. No. For me, it's a no. Oh, you've made history because it is the worst dish we have ever tried. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, I'm a fourth generation cook. You can leave now. I literally could make everything at the age of 15, and I thought this would be fun and whimsical. So, you know what? I took a risk, and I'm going to be technical, but no I'm going to give you guys something different. No way! So, thank this you for is your time. So I appreciate it, chefs. Grip. It has to be Our like I ha embarrassing, bro. But she actually looks Mexico. so like sassy and Some stubborn. Called Vista Hermosa. The house where I grew up had no indoor plumbing. As a kid, I was playing with mud, and I had names for all my cows. Oh my god! <laughs> all the time. She's the so pretty. Everything that I cook, it's always inspired by something that my mom taught me. I'm making a prickly pear cactus soup. My parents are coming today to support me, so I feel really proud of being Aww. able to present this dish that I grew up with. Cacti! Be here, but I don't see them at all. I hope they get here really soon. Um, good luck. Yeah, I have them out. L.A. Okay, we're Dad, you're not gonna make it on time. Oh my god! <gasps> this is how old the really show is? is? You still have to use those uh, fucking maps? I really wanted them to be here for this. No, 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 GPS back then? But, you know, I gotta still go in there and do my best in front of the judges. Correle, vamos a ver a Adri. I felt old watching that, man. Hello. Hi. Hi. First name is? Adriana. Welcome. What are you cooking? I am cooking prickly pear cactus soup. Right. It has Fuck yeah, peppers, chicken strips. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. Cumin, onions, garlic. And I'm also making Philip some dry shrimp the two months. for you right oh, now. Oh, I already I really you. enjoy the way that the dry shrimp oh, she's married. has saltiness that's going to go really well with right. the chilies. Excellent. Did you dust the soup with the shrimp? Yeah, I just wanted to get some crouton-like consistency for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little spongy. It has some egg in it. That's it. Thank you. I want to learn how to drink water out of a cactus okay. for survive potential survival needs. Is this what we're using? You know. Yeah. So basically, this is what you're eating. Right. Without all the spikes. <laughs> of course. You know, like what if I need water? And all around me is cactus, you know? Bro, you barely leave your house, let alone the city. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! It's a good Ryan. thing to know how to I, do! I think that it's complex. I like the, use of the, chilies, the, the fact that the cactus is being showcased, <laughs> also that you're staying true to your roots. It's a yes for me. Thank you so much. Listen, the dish was good. But you've got some obstacles in front of you. You're a very sweet girl. <laughs> and that competition is fierce. That is so funny. I'm unconvinced. Uh, for me, I'm a no. <laughs> Please, John. I want this so bad. Even though I like the soup, I don't think that you can hold up. I think that you're going to get chewed up like a rag doll. I will not. I may be nice, but I'm tough. I can promise you that. You're not afraid to stab a lobster. Do you guys remember with Whitney? When I know I want to do something. Cat M91, thank you for the sub. I have no inspiration. Oh no, thank you for the prime. Adriana is hoping her Mexican cactus soup is good enough to earn her a Master Chef apron. With a yes. I think that it's complex. And a no. I'm unconvinced. It all comes down to Joe. 
You're not afraid to stab a lobster in the back with a knife? When I know I want to do something, there's nothing that's going to stop me. They doubted Whitney because Whitney was like this cute little young, nice girl. But Whitney was fucking OP. You can't say no to someone you think is just too nice. Like what? opportunity to move forward in what I love and what I'm so passionate about. I am the next master chef. Yay. Adriana starts Yay. a run of success. Yay. Yay. I Yay. have a big yes. With four other aprons flying out the four. door. Four. Shall not cook without one of these. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> okay, I understand why you said thou. It's a hundred percent yes for me. Thank you, chef. Ooh, thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Well thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah! Okay. I see scallops Again, being cooked George from Ohio. A often in, in MasterChef, and I wonder if it's like a really uh, hard thing uh, George, to cook. What are you cooking, bud? Uh, I'm cooking Greek weddings. Like, I kind of want to try chef. it. Uh, are you I don't really like I'm not scallops. All right, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, I do. She's actually outside. I brought her here with me, and uh, I've been carrying the, the wedding ring with me in my back pocket. I've been carrying it uh, probably about, uh, you know, six months now. Ooh, what? So You have a wedding ring in your yeah. pocket? Yes. Wow, so what have you got in there? Is that a, a lamb meatball? Yes, that's a, it's a, good, it's a lamb meatball. Oh. Meat. You ready? I hope so. A wedding suit. So normally they roast or lightly saute the meatballs off first. With a bit of colour, so they get a bit of flavour in the broth. Yeah. Sorry. Aww. Who cares about color, the thing Gordon? What I really do love is the broth. I think, like on a cold night, big, big bowl of that. Oh. It's really delicious. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I love soup. You think they put butter in the soup in Greece? Um, just a little bit, not too much. I don't yeah. Think so yeah. So a wedding soup, Joe. Damn, look at Joe's think of kicks. Anything more of the antithesis <clears throat> of Greece that butter. My favorite soup? So for me, just based Probably on that, oxbone no. soup. Thanks. Graham, yes or no? I love the broth. I thought it was really They're easy to yeah, overcook. Um, um, yes. Thank you. Is your girlfriend here? Yeah. Yes, she's out there. May I have a quick word with her, please? Yes, yes. I think we're going to waste our time with this guy, Gord. The fair was really fun. It was really fun. I tried fried Oreos for the first time. Hello. Hello. And first name is? Maria. Would I buy it and eat it again? No. You love it. But I'm happy because I right now there's a dilemma. got to try it. Joe's a no. Graham's a yes. And... Yeah, I'm just old now, chat. George. I was getting acid I reflux. Am not giving you an <gasps> How can he be? Good oh my god, he brought but his wife over and then he held it and he said, you could I'm win. not gonna give me and I think him and her. It's about time that you man up. Wait, what? Come up oh. here. Oh. Sweetheart. <laughs> There might be all these great chefs in the world. And we'd love to eat at the restaurant. <laughs> it's, time. The time. it's time. It's time. It's time. For the rest of my life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would you marry me? <laughs> oh I take it that's a yes. Oh, Joe's tearing up. Hold on, George. Thank you so much. George, at the wedding, do not make that soon. He doesn't get on the show, but they use this proposal for content. Um, I didn't take it that way. I think he asked them if he can propose to her. If anything, I feel like... 
I feel like that was... It's like a mutual agreement for sure. But I'm going home with something that money can't buy over here, and this is the love Aww. of my life for the rest of my life. Thank you. Coming up, a feisty family from Philadelphia is left Yo, Adrian! speechless. You don't know how nervous I am. Oh, stop spoiling! I can't even. I don't even know. It, I'm getting spoiled until it's over. Bro, like, they need a transition today, to a show me. A spirit from Philadelphia. I am a single mom on a budget. Money's tight. I'm in a one-bedroom apartment. I sleep on the couch. I'm just trying to keep myself afloat and take care of my kid. So for me to branch out and do something like this is an accomplishment. It's for you, Mikey. Aww. I love you. Oh my God, I'm like he loves Gordon. He's literally his culinary idol. My son was actually the one that said, Mommy, you can do this. Aww. What Chrissy doesn't know is that her son has just arrived from Philadelphia to cheer her on. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, that's a long fucking flight. <laughs> He's like, stop kissing me, mom. I miss you too. Now keep cooking. I'm here for him, and I'm here for whatever can come out of this. And he's a what? He's a what? He's a what? 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 I wish Hazel told me she loved me. Good to see you. First name is? My name's Chrissy. I'm from Philadelphia. What are you cooking? Um, I made a uh, stuffed meatloaf Florentine oh, with a Fontina cheese sauce and uh, what my son calls dreamy potatoes. Chrissy, you've got five minutes to blow us away. All right, let's go. What's the food dream? Um, I would really like to uh, bring luncheonettes and uh, homemade Italian food back to South Philly. You know, I, I want to do like, uh, you know, like I grew up, like ravioli, stuff like that. If, if you say you got meatballs, I think people should be able to walk in the door and have a meatball, you know? So you bring a simple meatloaf and that's going to propel you to the kitchens of MasterChef. Is that the plan? It got me to LA, didn't it? <laughs> All right, let's put it up. We want to try it now. Let's plate it up. There you go. Great. Wow! What's the secret the blend? Beef, 85, 15, and it is a uh, Italian sausage. The center? It's a uh, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of heavy cream, butter, onion, a little bit of garlic. Really nice color. Okay. Uh, on the browning here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, here's the thing. It's a family-style dish, right? Right. And family's important to you. Yes. Your son, he's here? Yes. Can we meet him, please? Absolutely. There's no way they reject her in front of the son. Josh, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy to have you here. Juju W Love, thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. Don't be pineapple, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you. Just be yourself, okay? I don't want you to be nervous. I am. I just, you just don't know how nervous I am. Nervous. He loves you, Gordon. <laughs> this is Mikey. Come forward, buddy. How are you, dude? Come I'm forward. Good, Alvaro, thank you to see you. It's good to see you too. Now, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a chef. Why? Because you're a big inspiration to me. My mom is a big inspiration to me, and it's just been great. Wow. Give me a little insight to how good a cook <laughs> mum is. Dude. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate her food? Eleven. Wow. <laughs> when I see like what would kids. You do if she won? His age. I would cry, and I would give her. And they're like, "Hey, can I get a picture with you?" I'm like, "Yeah, oh my god!" And then after Chrissy, I'm done the picture, I'm like, got "I gotta stop swearing on stream." 
That is you on a plate. It's a yes for me. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. Come on, Mikey. Do Mikey. this to your mom. Put that on your mom. <laughs> uh, you have an amazing mom. No, I mean, like, how about they're fans of Gordon, and Gordon is like... Thank you. Really good job. Gordon is like a sailor. I'm happy she got it. Aww. Oh my god, Joe is, like, so emotional this season. I'm so proud of you. I couldn't have done it without you. Previously on Master Whoa, Chef. that's it? Damn, okay. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't do it. Like, I don't kiss my parents on the lips. But, like, I understand it's a thing. And it shouldn't be weird. I'm just weird. Or I just, because I'm just not used to it. Like, I can't imagine doing it myself. So that's why I'm like. But then I know that's just a thing. I wasn't able to get yeah, it I did cut off the cooks. spoilers. America will have just one shot to prove Your face is everything. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to seem off judgmental. First up I'm just today like, I don't do it. <laughs> -year-old father of three. That's the reason why I'm here, everybody. That's my baby right here. Who hopes his Puerto Rican I feel like a peck is fine. I have three you know? reasons why I got here. Abiana, like, Abiana, I try to... I, I kiss my cat all the time. Me, you know? So that's why I'm here, <laughs> and that's why I'm here to win Master Chef because I want to be a great chef for them. No, see, tongue is oh, where um, right <laughs> tongue is, is in the yeehaw love, territory. So that's why I'm here, and when I follow my passion and my dream, I go all out and I always win. Each home cook is given just five minutes to plate up their dish. If two or <laughs> three judges think they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and join the select few that move on to the next stage of the competition. Jan Jan versus Arya. Oh, uh, Arya would fucking kick my ass. I don't even think that's a competition. You can outcook me for sure. You got five minutes. Now, what are you cooking? Now I'm cooking for you guys as a traditional Puerto Rican dish, mofongo con camarones. A mofongo is a mashed up fried plantain and shrimp. We got shrimps that we put in there too. The love of food, baby, comes from that. <laughs> What's a tamagoyaki clip? Everything in life. It puts a smile on people's faces. Yeah. My daughters, they love my cooking. It does These are my girls right here. That's the reason why I'm here, man. Just want to make them proud, you know? Do you cook for them at home? Every time, man. To them, I'm the world's greatest chef, man. They be like, yo, daddy, you the best chef. Time up, buddy. Please put the dish in front. Thank you. Right, Beamy. Let's hope the food's as good as the gas that's coming out of your mouth. Honey lemon thing with a prime. Thank you. Have you tasted it? Oh, no. It's worth the watch. To me, it's good. My palate says it's good. Should I just watch it right now? Hi, right, Beamy. How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna quickly watch it then. Okay. Okay, this is the first one. Tamagoyaki A. That's Tamagoyaki A. Okay. He's really feeling it. I was so uncomfortable to not see the food I ate. Oh! Okay, this is Tamagoyaki B. Okay, Google. Stop playing. How do I say stop? Maybe it works. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Okay. Okay. The second one was Arya's. How'd you know? Wait, how was. Yours tasted so good. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're like that. behind you Lily. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is what it takes. A better me for them is the path I'm on, man. You know, I just, I just want to make them proud, you know, and I don't even like. 
opening up like this, but they did, 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 Mike. What's, what's the last thing that they told you before you came in here? We're proud of you. Oh. Damn, we just re-entered this episode a lot really of emotionally. Really. You have the emotional stability to go through this. You can't cry every time someone says your dish is no good or the next guy's better than you. I'm your future rival. You might not believe it, but I'm your future Illusion rival. Illusion of elimination. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. A shot of a doubt. Oh my god. If someone looked at me and was like, I'm your future rival. Graham. I'd be yes, like, I. no. That dish <laughs> had a great spirit, had a lot of flavor. <laughs> I think you have. Arliku09, thank you for extending your I'm sub. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. K pop yes, daddy, thank you know, the 46 I'm just months. Wondering, Welcome is back. This thank really you. a Caribbean dish or just kind of like shrimp scampi faked with some plantain put in it? I don't like fakers. To no. know. Mm. That dish is not perfect, but there's salt and there's heart and there's great flavor in there. What I'm concerned about, when was the last time you spent a good couple of months away from your girls? Never. Well, this guy doesn't have what it takes. He cries every five minutes. Yo! I'm not going to see your three girls for a while. Congratulations. Put this on. Good luck. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> you guys got sucker punched on that one. There is nothing wrong with crying. Some people. Oh my god, I need to stop touching my. my yeah. <laughs> I'm the next master chef. You know that. Yeah, I don't know if that's the only reason he didn't want him in. I don't know. Our next kind of weird show. A small town southern belle who has some very yes, big dreams. small town girl. There's a lack of cooking culture where I'm from. We don't have any huge grocery stores or seafood markets or farmers markets. I mean, it's it's rural. That's a little bit of a challenge because I'm not used to working with some of the great things that other people may have had the opportunity to. But one of the biggest draws of being on the show was the learning factor and being around such greatness. Welcome. Hey guys, how are you? Nice to see you. First name is? Jesse. What are you cooking? I'm cooking sea bass. She's fruit, tall. Which I have Bert Blanc to go with. Wow, yeah, you got five minutes to blow away. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a yacht stewardess. <laughs> how long throughout the year are you on the boat? It's kind of like a year contract thing, but you get a month off here, you get weekends, and um, the best part is going fishing trips. Requiem's dancing the eight months. The Welcome part. back. Thank you. So it's ready for you guys. Great, thank you. Wow. So, sea bass en croute. Mm -hmm. Sautéed onions and mushrooms yep. soy sauce. With I did beurre. A Greek cream white wine reduction. Why do they call it beurre top. instead of nice butter? Are they two different things? Is it beurre? Love fish completely. I mean, I live on butter, <laughs> but <laughs> French. <laughs> so in French. Tantrum FN, they were the sub. Thank you. That that many. Many. Yeah. Oh. Right, I look at you and the, the sort of bubbly approach. Oh, it's a French and, dish. Um, oh, okay, that makes you sense. Then. The dish from the 80s. Tell me, I, I, I expect something a little bit more uh, sort of modern. That's all. It's quite puzzling. <laughs> That's good. The beurre blanc really cuts through that right, acid. Great, thanks. Looks interesting. We've got a lot of things going on in this dish. I tried to bring as much as I could. Sometimes the best things in a dish are the things that are not in a dish. Yeah, I kind of understand um, that. Joe, yes or no? I just, it, it's. It's kind of like throwing everything at me. It's too much. It's a no. Sorry. I'm going to disagree. I think that while there are a lot of different things going on there, the flavors there, I think that you have shown some technique. And I'd like to My see mom would make banana bread, but yes. she'd put like an assortment of nuts in the banana bread, and I'd. I can 
Sometimes I just want banana bread. So I can't understand yeah, Joe. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't want nuts in my banana bread. What are they in the 43 months? Welcome back. Thank you. Where is he going? Oh! Challenge. Good luck. Jesse. Damn! With a yes from Graham. Challenge. And a no from Joe. Good luck. Jesse needs to prove to Gordon Ramsay. Jesse. That she's the real deal. All these, please. Stand over here. So you. Love fish, right? Uh-huh. Good. Just stand over in front. Come round, please. Thank you. In this competition, you have to deliver every time. Now, when was the last time you actually filleted a fish? Could have been a couple of months. A couple of months. Watch closely. Fillets. Trim it up. Let the knife do the work. I'm looking for six stunning portions. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I really hope she can do it. Do it. Oh. Six stunning fillets, please. I really want her to like be able to do this. Let's go! Jesse, will you do me a favor? Yes. Sir. Pass me my jacket, please. Thank you. Congratulations. Yay! Well done. Relax. Did she pull that one out of the bag? I mean, I've got to know if it's a real deal or yeah. not. There's her tail. There's my tail. Yeah. Good tail. Okay, Gordon's tail is like much bigger, but you know what? That's she did great. It's Gordon, you know? Gordon's good luck, Master <laughs> So Jesse from Georgia walks away with an apron. Master Chef hopeful. Um, God damn, save with a five dollar to know hi. I met you at the fair yesterday. I was wearing flare jeans, if you remember. <laughs> but you were so sweet and so pretty in person. Have a great stream. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for the donation. I hope you had a lovely time. It's spoilers. Okay, I wasn't even watching, so it's uh, fine. Is it actually spoilers? I can't tell. Do I just skip? What are uh, we're having hash. What are you cooking? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Clearly a farmer. I am. Uh, we're having hash and eggs this morning. I teach uh, students and do research in robotics. Today I am cooking. Like, cheese. where does it end? You know? Classic American apple pie. I'm doing a traditional baked Alaska. You're still burning stuff. You guys are in for a treat. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's incredible. What's it made out of? That's a uh, butternut squash. Wow. Hey, Gordon, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> It's a little bit underwhelming. Those weren't spoilers. Okay, it's because someone in chat s said spoiler in all caps, and I freaked out. Thank you. <laughs> and I was wow. thanking a donation. I was like, oh, God. it's not MasterChef level, and I'm going to be a no. For me, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no from me. The dessert is good, but it's a little bit too sweet, and I'm going to be a no. I'm a yes to Charlie. But a no to you. Understood. I think there's enough potential to earn you an apron. Yes! Graham, you're not going to jump on that. Graham, no, 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 no. no. <gasps> <laughs> Medic! <laughs> 
next stop is 26 year old James from Texas. It's okay. The reason to win today. Everyone goes through hardships. Everyone's, there's not anyone ever born who has an easy life, but just like everyone else, I've had struggles growing up. We grew up poor. You know, I lost my father last year to a bad case of emphysema, and I lost my mother several years ago. She died from Hodgkin's lymphoma. It really kind of tempered my resolve towards a lot of things. My parents really believed in my cooking ability. They always pushed me to do something with it, and if I don't do anything with it, I don't feel like I'm doing their memory justice. It was like burned into my memory that I had to do something bigger, and I know this is it. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. First name? James. James, what are you doing? I, I wish doing parents could just billing, live forever. Okay, great. Five minutes off you go, buddy. Okay. And what's the food dream? To a gastropub that explores food beyond just the average. You guys ever just great. like you know, when you don't have make yourself cry the cheapest by accident by like thinking of, of like dishes. worst case scenarios. Done? Yes, sir. Oh what my god. Salt, a little bit of lime, garlic, sea salt, black pepper, a little bit of uh, smoked yeah, paprika, do that. and cayenne pepper. Touch of olive oil. Well, this is good. It's very creative. It's very simple. But yeah, I like it. Thank you. I love pork belly. Someone said he looks like mango. I kind of see it too. But. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you guys know, you guys <laughs> see all the little things, I swear. What, what do I get out of you? Just a I little. What do I get back? A little. And maybe it's a facial hair and, that I and the more than 100 hair. Every day. You don't have any fight in you. I have a lot of fight in me. I don't see it. I've given up everything in my life that I had going to be here today. I've been through hell and back in the past three or four years of my life. I've lost my mother. I've lost my father. The only thing I have is my fiance. I'm sorry for your loss, broom. Because I knew that this is where Silver, I thanks to be. for the hundred bits. Thank you. I will absolutely you. prove that to you if you give me the chance. I have to pee, but I'm gonna Go wait. Ahead. Lentils need seasoning. Oh God, the it's fine. To be able to take pork belly and instead of braising it for hours, cut it thin, cook it, be uh, you know able to improvise on your feet. I'd like to see you continue that path. So I'm a yes. Joe, our job is not only to taste on the plate, but to discern through the crap, to get to the people who really have passion to take this journey with us. And quite frankly, I don't see it. I have it. I absolutely do. I do want to go, yeah. I'm gonna know. James. Okay. What have you got that we haven't seen? People are, people are saying I should go pee, and I appreciate it. I'm gonna go pee then. <laughs> um, if you guys need to go use the washroom or get some snack, get it now. I'm just gonna go pee real quick. Play some music too. Sorry. Couldn't hold it.
Oh yeah. Thanks, chat. Uh, TJ Biggs, 27th day of the Prime. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Team, I've got every ability to be the next Master Chef. I just need the Yay. chance to prove it to you. I know this probably wasn't the best representation of my skill. But damn it, Thanks. I know I can do better. I can do this. I know I can. I didn't come here to go home. But you're so timid. And I'm not. Well, this competition is going to eat you alive. It's going to give you the biggest kick up the arse you ever had in your Please, entire life. Please, stop really judging their personality. I'm, I'm not worried First about. sign of pressure, you're going to disintegrate. I won't. Dude, I would show up be like... Not. I will not break. I would never show anything because it seems like they say no if they if you're like too nice. Wait. I don't know up. Dude, I'm floored right now, man. I am devastated in the best way you can be. This is the beginning of a journey for me. I had to fight for it, and I will continue to fight. Ah! Coming up. Gentlemen. Will it help any of the home cooks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I don't want to see what's coming up. Okay. Keyword coming up. In the quest for a Master Chef apron, gentlemen, some home cooks think they need to serve up more than a winning dish. Hello. What are you cooking? Alligator andouille sausage. Cupid's cookies because you're gonna fall in love with it. <laughs> Pan seared salmon with cherry glaze on it. Wait a second. What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing with the chocolate then? <laughs> don't, don't waste too long washing your hands because we gotta get we gotta get going, babe. Um, you asked what I was gonna be making. Okay. Whoa. That's not the pepper you've just taken a bite out of, is it? That's right. Uh, I love you, Gordon. God. If I could take you home, I would. What would you do to us if we went home with you? Oh, <laughs> You would not be able to walk the next day. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you always this scary? This is so not what I dreamed our first date would be like. I love you to pieces. Don't tell my husband. My husband is out there right now. I told my fiance his ass is gone if I can ever take you away. And he goes, you would dump me? For him, I said in a minute. This is a great way to find out if you suck, right? Then you know you. This is like my passion with every. Sonder being. Saunders 62. They were in two the months. Exactly. It doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm in a dream. Him, hey, me costume sing for the prime. You don't like the dish. What makes you think that I would give you that satisfaction? You can kiss my grits. <laughs> it's a no. One hundred percent no. How many people are you with? Eleven. Could you go get them, please? Oh yeah. Eleven. <laughs> So no. Oh, Sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. The next home cook is ready to face the judges all on her own. I was born ready because I'm a beast in the kitchen. I am Sasha Fox. Y'all need to just and become streamers. I'm here to take the place. My Twitch right loves place drama. They need some more LSF people, man. Come. Hey. <laughs> the three most handsomest men I've seen today. Woohoo! <laughs> nice to see you. First name is? Sasha. Sasha, what are you cooking first today? You got five minutes. Okay, today I did a fried chicken, but I used the Cornish hen. Smart. <laughs> and um, I got some crepes. What a personality. And I did a bourbon glaze trying to get us drunk and take advantage of us. Yes, of course. <laughs> I really, really want an apple. Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Yes. Woo. Woo. Somebody pinch me. <laughs> Why? 
Do you think you've got what it takes to win Master Chef? damn. Because I'm Sasha Fox. <laughs> and everything I do, I do well. I cook good, I look good. I smell good. <laughs> Everything I do, I do good, honey. Best believe that. <laughs> okay, time's up. So it's a yeah, that sounds fried chicken bomb. with French crepes. You had me at Southern Fried Chicken. Hey, right, Graham, give me the privilege of being the first one of you three gentlemen to taste my savory dish. Put a little Sasha mm -hmm. in your mouth, baby. <laughs> It is foxy chicken. It is foxy. It is foxy chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> hey! Mm -hmm. Graham, you having fun? All right, Graham. Hot stuff, <laughs> hot sauce. You know, red is my favorite color. Oh, thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. That's a lot of chicken. You need to know where mm -hmm. she is right now? You're a lot of woman. Yes, uh -huh. now you showing up told the truth about that. Sasha. So, what's the secret behind your food? Me. And I can turn around and you can really see what's the secret behind me. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm I love her chicken, attitude. But I'm not a massive fan of the crepes. Yeah. They could probably use a little work. Yeah. Ah, uh, wow. Setting the personality aside, um, yeah, I mean, you're on fire, aren't you? You are a very, very... ...talented girl. Thank you. Wow! The come from the heart. It's a big, big 100% yes from me. Graham. Fried chicken is probably the most American dish. You've mastered it, and I want to see you go further. I'm a yes. Yes. Hallelujah. It's a big yes. Congratulations. Oh, my God, I got three yes. Well done. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. You go, girl. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Deuces. Bye, Bye guys. Sasha. Deuces. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Suki, theme of the prime. Thank you. I am the next master chef. Woo. Coming up. Can an ex-NFL star achieve a new dream? You playing any big games? When I was with the Patriots and we went to the Super Bowl, I had to retire because I broke my wrist. Oh, and no. a contestant from last season. It's me, it's me. Oh. Any hope of a second chance? We've been down this road before. I'm sorry. I forgot we're getting spoiled. It's day two of the auditions. That dish had a great spirit. Congratulations. And this year on MasterChef, it's been tougher than ever. Are you guys... Is this still happening? Like, like uh, Whoa, what the fuck am I watching? In the kitchen. Master. Wait, I skipped too much. I don't know where it starts and where it ends anymore. Our next MasterChef hopeful is Rudy. Like, a what? A home cook who is as fearless in the kitchen as he is in his own life. In October 2003, San Diego was hit by what is now one of the worst fires in history. I spent about a year in hospital, 75% uh, burns, and they kept me in induced coma for two months of that time. Just because the pain would have been so intense, I probably wouldn't have survived. When it comes to cooking, I really put myself back in the situation and said, anything I could do before, I'm going to learn to do again. So really, there hasn't been a thing that I have not figured out a way to get around or do. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to get that apron. With bread coming out golden brown like that? Ooh. How could I not? Winning MasterChef would give me the opportunities to help so many people in this world, to be able to change so many lives, to make them understand that just because I'm disabled doesn't mean I'm done. Let's go. Be America's next MasterChef. Welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. First name is? My name is Rudy. Rudy, where are you from, bud? San Diego. I'm known in San Diego for having survived the 2003 San Diego fires. How were you involved? Uh, I lived up in the area, and there wasn't any warning. So people like me had to go door to door and actually warn people. Oh. I went and got about four or five houses cleared. Aww. Because I was the last one to leave, it turned into me being stuck behind the lines. Aww. So I had to cover my face and go through the fire the hard way. 
So as you can tell, lost an ear, lost a finger. I'm blessed. I'm here for a reason. What a hero! Yeah. Can you explain this dish to us? Okay. You have buffalo meat. Buffalo meat. It's a Native American taco. So we take what would be the flour for a regular tortilla, and we fry it up. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I have a lime fresh salsa. Done. Great. Thank you. The buffalo, how'd you cook it? I took some olive oil, mm -hmm. golden fried it, mm -hmm. and I took some butter for the flavoring. There's a lot of seasoning, bay leaf, uh, pepper, you name it, it's all in there. Buffalo is slightly dry. As you know, buffalo doesn't have much fat in it. No, right. Lean. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So buffalo and some refried beans, is that what that is there? Correct. OK. There's some wonderful people in the world. Sometimes we forget. Yeah. Heather, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Thank you. Sure, Suki, thank you for the prime. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely day, too. Sometimes at MasterChef, we say you have to be able to communicate a piece of who you are through the food you put on a plate. I think that your story is compelling and certainly moving. I wish your food was as well. Mm. I'm sorry, for me it's a no. Crime, please. See, for, for me, I think that that is him on a plate, you know? I think that even though it's, it might not be as refined or upscale, I guess, for lack of a better word, I think that the, the rusticity, there is some depth of flavor, and the technique of the fry bread, I think, is really, really neat. I've never seen that, that done before, so I'd like to learn more. And so for me, it's a yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I, I totally disagree with Graham. It's poorly conceived. Mm -hmm. I don't see it in the plate. I disagree. I, I, we, we, I, we, we have one yes and one no. Is that the best <laughs> dish that you can cook? Is that the dish? That could win MasterChef. I thought maybe other than the meat, which I, I it did dry out a little bit more, I thought it would have been great sure. for you. I think you're very, very inspirational. For me. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm writing the script. Yes. No. Yes. I think you're very, no. very inspirational. It's the moment of truth for Rudy and his <laughs> Buffalo Taco. So far, it's a no from Joe and a yes from Graham. Now, I all think that stands between it's him gonna and Master Chef Apron be a is Gordon Ramsay. No. This is a competition, and you've got one shot at it. We have to judge you on what you've done. For me. Okay. No, final answer. It's a no. Oh my god. And I think you just gotta continue. I won the coin flip. Sir, I don't fear rejection. If you don't go through these tests, you can't make yourself better. Aww. Just continue cooking. I will. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, he said it really nicely. I really like that. He said I don't fear rejection. I'm still proud of what I did. The fact that even yeah. one of my huge. You know, I didn't get through, but if you look, I made friends. Yeah. So Rudy fails to win an apron. And many more soon discover he it's harder this year to win an apron. It's a no. Than ever before. It's just not Master Chef level, so I'm a no. That's something I'd expect to see from a nine-year-old, not a captain. It's a big no. Okay. Thank you. It just wasn't there. I understand. Unfortunately, I like your hair better than the dish, sadly. So for me, it's a no. It's good, but it's not good enough. It's a no. It's boarding school pudding at best. Wow. It's a no. Sorry. Wait, would it be OK if I hug you anyway? Uh, 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 I thank you so much. Uh, uh, Can our next hopeful do any better? 
Let's see if 32-year-old Eddie can score an apron. You know, ever since I finished playing football, cooking is my new sport. I actually made it to the NFL the hard way. I didn't get drafted, so I had to prove myself, and I made it. So after I finished playing football, the only thing I could see is turning myself into, like, this shell. Aww. It's something that I really, really love to do. Getting an apron, it'll be the feeling like when I first got my first check in the NFL. It was like, okay, finally, you know, I'm I good. found my AirPods Pro. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. What's up, chefs? Good to see you. First name is? Eddie. Eddie. You gonna catch it? No, no, he won't. He won't miss it. He'll miss oh, it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Gordon, that's a football. Uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. American football. Yeah, there's a big difference between big American difference. football and soccer. And <laughs> of course. I'm making a jerk meatloaf over <laughs> It's coming home, except it didn't, minutes. right? Now, you got five minutes. Uh, Sebastian, 96, same for the game. prime. Thank I you. I retired because I destroyed my knee. I broke, I fractured my wrist. That was the year when I was with the Patriots, and we went to All right, football. we're a minor to and stretch. Right before we went to the playoffs, I was in the Your weight wrists. room, and I fell back, and I had a 125-pound dumbbell in my hand and snapped my wrist. <gasps> Oh, I ended up retiring after that because I wasn't the same. Look at you. That's nice. What would your old teammates say if they saw you paint brushing a piece of meatloaf? They're gonna laugh. His They're gonna laugh their ass off. Oh my okay, god. Done. Yes, sir, I'm done. You see, you've done all foo-foo. If there's one thing you don't do with a meatloaf, is take it all fancy, right? Whose recipe is this? This is mine. I've made right. it up myself. There's something intriguing in there. Damn. Yeah. The meatloaf is definitely the star, but this could use a touch of seasoning. We'll see. Yeah, there's Thanks. this workout where you're standing in these two ropes, and you step forward and you go like this. Very rich. I like the heat in that. What is that? You know, you bring um, this like. I got like, some scotch bonnets in there. This. Very interesting. Anyways, I do it on the lowest setting, and this is me. Uh, Joe, yes or no? It's a food that speaks about you. <laughs> it's very personal, I think. And being able to, to express that personality through food is a big accomplishment on its own. So I am a yes. I'm so weak. I need, I need to delicious. work out my, my arms. It doesn't do enough for me. So I'm a no. It's so funny. <laughs> it doesn't need to be... Yeah, it's, it works out your chest Meatloaf. when you do it. But yeah. Eddie. Sir. <laughs> Come pick up your apron. Wow! Get serious. Yes, sir. Because the competition is very serious. That dish has got potential. Thank you so much. I hope he's right. Let's do Thank it. So much. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, at wow. the fair. You're in the game. I was so tired <laughs> physically. <laughs> Seduce Pearl, thank you for the 14 months, by the way. Welcome back. Right now. This is my championship. This is my Super Bowl. No one is oh. going to me. I know what it takes to get to the top because I've been to the top. <laughs> Coming up, you broke my yard. Luca! Okay, 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 Luca. Okay. Oh, look of the day is a familiar face from last season who has been given a Lucas. second chance. Lucas. My name is Luca. I'm 31 years old. I'm from New York City. Originally, I'm from Aviano, Italy, and I'm a restaurant manager. My dream is to open my own restaurant in New York City and have a big sign with my name outside the door. Luca. This is fantastic. I think I'm Luca so to be here again. as a restaurant year, name is chef. so cool. And I did my beautiful dish and then it was all like that is just Gordon perfect Ramsey. branding. Me, like it could be no. anything. I know you really. can do better. Continue cooking because next year I think you can come back and completely rise above the competition. I was very sad mm -hmm. when I didn't get an apron because this could be really Disney a would sue. <laughs> but I am coming it's like, back but it's his name. <laughs> this moment is about Look at these my nuts. Dream. Nothing can stop. Me. I'm super excited to see the judges again. They better remember Your name, name is Luca and you have a restaurant on the soccer soccer court? Wait, really? Oh, my stomach. I ate a lot of bad food yesterday. Unhealthy food. Funnel cake, it's fried it's Oreo. Uh, Luca. <laughs> you remember my name? Bacon uh, wrapped corn dog. Oh, Gordon remembers the name. 
You broke my heart, you broke my wife, my mother's heart. You broke all America. <laughs> all of Italy was crying, Gordon. All it, all they didn't have fried Snickers. What are you making for us today? I'm making uh, broccoli wrap ravioli. OK, time starts now. Thank you, chef. So, how did you pick yourself up on the back of the devastation last year? How did you re-motivate yourself? I just knew that I didn't make the best I could. I want fried Snickers. So, you know, you just need to realize the mistakes that you make and nom, nom, improve nom, 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 nom. from your own mistake. Tell us about the ravioli. Is this a, your mother's recipe, your grandmother's Not recipe? Not really. This is a dish that I made just for you. Normally, the broccoli rabe would be a garnish. People love broccoli rabe. Why not incorporate it? Broccoli in the ravioli. You know, broccoli rabe can be very chewy, mm -hmm. so it's very risky. It is risky, but I studied all the components and tried to balance them together. Cheers. Dude, oh. Buon appetito. That's Great. right, yeah. Buon appetito. Luca, Luca, Luca. So you blended it. So it's like a puree of broccoli rob and I ricotta did. together. I, did. I steamed it, yeah, pan steamed them first with some shallots and garlic, and then I blended with the ricotta and the nutmeg. Had you won last year, we'd probably be partners in our restaurant already in New York. Aww. Well, it's better late than never. Aww. Did you go, Luca? You Good like, job I'm for great. trying nice again. So I really do hope. Uh, I made just a little reduction of balsamic. He has such a great personality, nice yeah. Thing to pasta ratio. Great, thanks. Thank you. Now I want funnel cake. Dude, I'm old Luke. now. Like, yes, chef. I get acid Welcome reflux. Back. Thank you. Reflex. Do I never my... used to get that. Pasta. I did make the pasta, chef. It's bad. So, Mom, I'm just your like, dish what's happening to me, man? I'm getting out. fucking old. My body. I can't, like, keep down bad food anymore. Hey, Joe, I'm going to go back to you. Not perfect? Yeah, old I fried think food. Some issues. The sauce is a little bit grainy. Pecorino Romano is a very difficult cheese to use. But in the greater context of your MasterChef journey, Luca, I think that you have a lot to give, and I want to see you cook. I want to see you compete, so I'm a yes again. Thank you. Thank you, grazie. Graham, yes or no? The ravioli itself, the pasta, the filling, it's You've it's always perfect. had it? I never used to have it. But the sauce, it just, it kind of ruins it for me. It's almost overly salted, and I don't like the texture. It was a no last year, and sadly, I'm a no this year. I apologize. Aww. I understand. Morph plug, them the 24 months. Welcome back. Happy two years. We've been down this road Luca. before. Luca! And you've got a big bear to come back into this competition and put broccoli rabe inside a ravioli. I made the right decision last year. And I'm going to make the right decision again this year. Luca, I'm sorry. It's a yes! You're not going back to your job in New York. Oh you my gosh! I knew it! Well I really I did write now. the fucking script! Yes, <laughs> Be more confident. Slow down. You yes, surprise yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, okay. It's just really well obvious. But it makes me happy when I predict correctly. It's just like a little game Thank to you, me Mark. when I watch this Thank show. I'm like, it's gonna be this. Bravo. <laughs> Uh, I see a dab storm. Thank you the prime. Thank you. I found my AirPods Pro. Thank you the five dollar fourteen cents. Here is my snack money. It is too expensive where I live. Keep your snack money if it's that expensive. What? Oh. Oh, Ooh. Those oh, okay. They're all, they all have their aprons. Okay, okay, okay. Break time. Chat, I need to go poop. Okay. I'm going to go poop. Um, first poop of the day. You know how it is. I had an interesting day yesterday. So you know, I have to. But everybody go poop as well or do what you got to do. Okay. I'll be back. After my poop, I'll try to, you know, be quick with it. Um, 
I'm gonna go fine. What? You mad at me because I said go poop? What? Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to play the ads while I go poop. Okay, I play ads. Don't strain, take your time. You guys are so sweet. Also, I need to download the game I'm playing today. Goose. Goose, goose, duck. Goose, goose, duck. Oh, it's free to play. Okay, I'm gonna download that while I go poop. Uh, DFK Randar, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you. Oh, okay, it's done downloading. That was so fast. Okay, bear back, chat. Poop it.
did. I was like sitting on the toilet thinking about the girl I met at the fair and like her flared pants. And I was like, damn, those pants were fire. Thank you. Now I really want to go buy some flared pants and like try to wear flared pants. Anyways, that's my thought process on the toilet. Thank you for the welcome back. All right, let's do this. Jonathan Xing for the three months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Or I'm trying to skip. Yeah, there we go. All in pursuit of a place in the Master Chef kitchen. It's perfectly seasoned. Really good. A professional cook would be proud to put a dish together as good as this. That is one of the best dishes I've ever <sighs> Thank you. Wait. When does it fucking end? Pull cat for life. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Dude. It's the final day of the auditions as the last of the home cooks from across the country arrive ready to pursue this their editor man I'm here I know Chef right two minutes my dream is to open up my own little Italian restaurant Ooh, but really dude she's so pretty holy my moly said, Dada you you go win you know someone can go <laughs> home and go back to their Dada. Life, be fine but I can't like I have to win for her Aww. it's a competition and I'm not here to make friends I'm here dude, to I've do I've never what I love seen the most, this girl and how do you just all randomly all show this person we didn't even see her audition our home cooks have just one shot to prove they have what it takes to become a master chef this is huge, man. This is huge. First up is Howard, a 26-year-old oh, US Army from San Diego, who's now on a mission to win a Master Chef apron. Baking powder. I love to cook. I believe that what I have is a skill, and I'm very passionate about everything that has to do with food and wine. I love it. I was a crazy adolescent, and uh, 21 came around, and I needed to change. And Yo, that posture. Army. I did 12 months as a assistant machine gunner in Afghanistan. We lost a lot of guys out there, guys who had all these plans that, hey, when I get out, you know, all we would do is, is talk about what we were going to do when we got home. You good? So now I'm back, and I'm extremely determined to make the most out of the life that I have now because of my buddies that don't have the opportunity to do it themselves. I will be America's next master chef. See you guys soon! Each home cook is given just five minutes to plate up their dish. If two of the three judges think they have what it takes, they'll win a coveted Master Chef apron and move on to the next stage of the competition. Hello, gentlemen. First name is? My name's Howard. From where? San Diego, California. And what are you cooking? I'm cooking a bourbon peach blackberry cobbler for you today. Uh, you got five minutes. Off you go. The love of food comes from where? My lovely grandma, she is an amazing cook. Mimu I mean, Bosu, thank you for the prime. Thank started. you. Coming back from the army, I'm uh, trying to pursue it 100%. What were you doing in the military? Served in Afghanistan. I was a uh, assistant machine gunner on a 240 Bravo team. You know, you go over there, you work with a lot of great men, and some of them didn't come home. We lost 22 guys in uh, Damn. 12 months. How do you think serving in the military can better you as a cook? Discipline. Why do you say attention 12 months instead of one year? In the culinary industry, if you can't pay attention to detail, you're not going to succeed. Time's up. Okay. You, you know those, like, moms that are like, my kids, like... It adds color to it. It adds an extra sweetness to it that, that the pieces don't 16 weeks old. And I'm just like... Like, oh my god. I don't know. The way you've done it, it's uh, rustic. It's charming. Thank you. And all the alcohol in there. What's in there? It's bourbon. Yeah. Caramelized peaches. Yes, chef. A little amaretto. Okay. A little bourbon. The graham cracker. Tours. I've never seen um, that used before, but it adds crunch. So it takes a lot of courage to come in here and present a dessert. I have a lot more to show and a lot more to bring to the table. It's a very good home dessert. Mm. You. Are desserts that scary to make? Topping's nice. Peaches. Tasty, but I'm struggling because of the... I amount. got my peaches down my door. Yes, chef. I'm a no. Uh-oh. Graham. 
It's difficult. It's hard. I mean, it's got some great flavor and some complexity. I like the crust. The alcohol is really strong. All right, I'm going to be a yes. Oh. Valona95 named the five the months. Welcome back. Thank you. Jojo. Let's take a walk. <laughs> this is my grandma. Well, I got some news. Oh my god. Howard has a ton of potential. <laughs> so <laughs> I go on top of the road right now, like nothing can crush me. This is like, this is like, this is like okay. Uh, I'm gonna prove to <laughs> that was really the dramatic, but you know what? Right here. Respect. Going to be the next master yeah, imagine if he so did say no. Wins an apron. But as the auditions come to a close, Judges? the path to a white apron doesn't get any easier. What I have here is a white chocolate spaghetti with a strawberry puree. And white chocolate and right spaghetti? To symbolize my love of cooking. Oh, I am a firefighter for the clean What is a teddy bear for? Love the ambition, but the best thing on that plate is the soft boiled egg. I'm a no. I charred my uh, short ribs. Hopefully, you guys can see. Oh, that. that just look at the potential instead. We have to judge you on what you've done, not on what you've burnt. I'm sorry. It's Sakura a no. Hayes saving Maybe the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. Restaurant. No. It's not screaming Master Chef. No. Thank you, but no thanks. I don't think it's the quality we're looking for. I'm a no. I'm sorry. It's a no from me. Damn. America's next Master Chef. Pen. No. After these disappointing dishes. Coconut. And the very last home cook of this year's auditions, take home an apron. Johnny is a 28-year-old carpenter from Marlboro. What's going on, guys? Hi, how are you? Last guy of the day. Still hungry? Yep. He's the last guy uh, of the day? Johnny B. Johnny B. Good to see you, bud. What are you cooking? I'm making uh, lobster cracker jacks. Lobster ah. cracker jacks. you got five minutes. Okay. And what's your day job? What do you do for a living? I'm a carpenter, but I want to pursue food and see what I can do with it. I like the way you utilize a beer bottle for a rolling pin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we're pretty spoiled with lobster on the East Coast. My friends and I are usually hanging out on the deck, staring out over the ocean, and the, the utensils aren't always around, so we're, uh, you know, everybody's always got a beer bottle in their hand. But lobster, popcorn, nuts, and caramel. <laughs> yeah. Served in a cocktail glass. Yeah. You know, it's bizarre. Is this something you've done before, though? I've done it a couple times. Okay. People love it? Everybody keeps asking me for more, so I think that's a good sign. Great. Right? What the fuck? You're smirking. What's going on, Johnny B? How are you? Good. Pleasure to meet you. Probably don't hear this much, but you're you're a lot smaller in person than I thought you were gonna <laughs> <laughs> Camera adds about 180 pounds. All right. Coconut, caramel, lobster. Salty, sweet. Buttery, crunch, crunchy. Butter. <laughs> wow, they're like surprised how good it this is. This is one of those things that either works or it doesn't. Exactly. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall hard. <laughs> so, uh, XOXO Gem, same the four so months. Welcome back, stuff. thank you. Yeah. But cashews and coconut. It's so out there, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, you have nothing to compare to. Right. Um, Popcorn and lobster? Yeah. That doesn't read well on the menu. The last home cook of this year's MasterChef auditions, Johnny, a 28-year-old carpenter, has ended the day 
with an unexpected dish. A lobster Cracker Jacks. Popcorn should never go with lobster. Popcorn and lobster? Yeah. That doesn't read well on a menu. But there's something intriguing about that because mm. I, you know, I'm forced to say it. It actually works. Wow. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> For me, it's a 100% yes. A 100% yes. In a very weird, exciting way. Perfect. Thank you. Joe. This is like MasterChef, so you're going to have to be cook Italian and Asian, and we're going to put you through challenges. Is this like a, a little trick? You come here and try to dazzle us, or you got what it takes? I don't think it's a trick. I think I have what it takes. You know, I, I can hang. I'm on for the ride. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. Graham, love it. Love it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Congratulations. Across the board. <laughs> Three big yeses. Well done. Oh, good job. Thank you very much. This is like a yes. But this is like an out there yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you gotta Joe like, you gotta, you gotta reel it in here because like, you kind of like maybe bamboozled us a little bit. All right. Now you gotta take the next step. All right. right. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Why does that work? You can't stop eating it. Kind of weirdly good. Wow, they're just continuing, like, eating it. Continuously I'm eating it. Right I mean. This apron's the first step on the journey. You know, most important meal's the next one. I like it, to too. Yeah, I've never I'm had mustard with chef. watermelon. So Johnny is the final home cook to win an apron. He now joins all the other contenders trying to move on in the competition. The longest journey always starts with one step. Damn, and that dude really just... You have no idea how excellent this feels. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a pastor. I am a model. I'm an ex-NFL player. I'm a housewife. The safer it lets me know that I really am good at what I do. And that Aww. means the world to me. I did this for my mom. This is all for my mom. She would be blown away that I was even in this situation. Aww. Congratulations. Come on, Mike. Give this to your mom. This is everything to us. And I'm going to fight to keep that apron. I got to learn. I got to grow. I got to really apply myself here and go hard. This is the beginning of a journey. This is the first in many long trials to become the next Master Chef. Everyone has their, like, little uh, paths. Now, the surviving home cooks you know? who have been awarded aprons must fight their way into the Master Chef kitchen, where the ultimate battle awaits. Congratulations on making it this far. Each and every one of you were all good enough to earn an apron. But after this next challenge, we'll be taking a lot of those aprons back. I'm super excited to see some of these people go because I don't feel that everybody that got an apron deserved that apron. I'm not even thinking wow. about if I'm going home today. I am home. Here comes the spice. Fellas, let's go. The drama. The tea. We're walking down this dark corridor. The adrenaline is coursing through my veins. There's a gentle level of horror walking down the hall and then you buy that same door again where your fate was started, and it's just profound. The doors open, and I see, like, the lights and the cook stations, and I'm like... Hey, it's thanks, Sahara! Thanks. Same with the five months. Welcome back. Thank you! Welcome to your yeah, first let's see who the time. bad boy is. Or bad girl. You know? This is your biggest, scariest challenge of your lives. Oh, oh no. Oh, crap. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? And delicious. <laughs> Don't worry. You will not be cooking this little guy. Take a look behind you.
was lambs everywhere. It was lamb over here, <gasps> lamb over there. Fuck. I I <laughs> She's just batting back at them. People's shoes and peeing. I'm like, oh, don't let me step in this. Please don't let me step in this. Woo! Lamb is one of the most popular meats in the world, and every year it is gaining popularity in America. It's an incredibly versatile I'm sorry, meat. Lamb. Such a unique I'm so sorry. There are so many parts of the they are my favorite. And so many ways that you can use them. I feel so, so bad. You are probably wondering. Which part of the lamb we're going to give you? Well, let me tell you, all of them. There isn't a single piece of lamb we haven't given you. To help you come up with My this magnificent God. dish, you have full use of the Master Chef pantry. That pantry has every ingredient a head. to make your lamb dish shine. You name it, that pantry has it. Yeah. It's all on this. I feel so Shine bad when I see Make them. A mistake, and you'll be like a lamb to the slaughter. But they're my favorite. You have just 60 minutes <laughs> to cook us the best lamb dish of your entire life. Are you ready? Yeah. Your 60 minutes starts now. Damn, look at them sprinting. Oh Oh my god, look at them sprinting! <gasps> she said, don't push me, bitch. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Your 60 minutes starts. Wow! Oh, they were replaying it anyway. <laughs> I'm running to the pantry where this woman shoves me. She actually pushes me down. This competition is not for the weak hearted. <laughs> it was her! Well, an amazing list of ingredients in that pantry. I mean, how oh could you not God. make a dish thing? Right, it's a veritable that. Garden of Eden. There's mm -hmm. everything in there that one could want to cook. A dream. So this is where the winners discern themselves from the losers, in my opinion. You gotta shop smart, you gotta really make some strategic decisions. 90 seconds shopping should be enough. Everything should be planned again. You should spend your time cooking. Exactly. A master chef has to be confident. So you sure. know when you go in there exactly yeah. what you need. 60 minutes isn't long, is it? Goes by super fast. Half of these people are going home. And that's kind of a really good motivator. And really do my best in this dish. I'm making borrego con chiles. It's gonna be a little spicy. With a little bit of sweet pepper, a little bit of coconut milk in it. I I'm love work spice. As as I can try to hold on to that apron. All right, Malcolm, what are you making? I'm making a lamb sampler plate. Is that like I'm not confident enough to do one dish, so I'm going to throw a whole bunch of stuff at you guys so I don't no. get eliminated? No, it's a I'm not a one trick pony type guy trying to give you guys a versatile of You don't have to show us everything today. You just have to show us one dish that keeps you here. Right, Beth, why is it not in the oven? Because I'm going to sizzle it. So you're cooking it on hay? Uh-huh. You damped the hay slightly? Yes, Otherwise, yes. you know what's going to happen there? I don't want it to catch on fire. What no. are you serving with it? I am serving a celeriac and rutabaga puree and buttermilk fried sweet bread. Hey. So in just under 30 minutes. Yes, it Good is. Luck. So let's go. One dish to keep you in the competition. Luca, walk me through what we have. I'm stuffing a loin okay. with sweet bread and dive and goat cheese. Trying to do something that I would be proud to serve at my restaurant. Okay, just make sure they don't get overcooked. Just watch that. Ryan, what are you doing? The rack of lamb. I, I Frenched the rack, and then basically I cut it in oh. individual portions of double chops, and I basically wrapped Gordon rosemary Gordon no like the bone. Ye. Rosemary around the boat? That's correct. I think you've gone around the bent. I get that a lot. Wow. Some individual out there are panicking. They're forgetting the complete... Hatch, 5594, five, thanks for the eight months. Welcome back. Thank you. Lads, 
completely out of his depth. I mean, thinking way out of the box, but accomplishing nothing. Right. The I idea agree. of taking something like ribs makes sense. Cola, OK, I get it. The way that he has those together are horrendous. I think Lynn has conceptualized an incredible Who the hell is you know, this? Chalice and, like, uh, we didn't see his audition. Yeah. Lynn? Now showing their true colors Ooh, and kebab. And eliminated from this kitchen. You have 15 minutes left. We have seen enough from some of you. And right now, Joe is going to start collecting some aprons. Whoa, this just got real. I'm shocked. I had no idea aprons were going to start being taken. I had no idea people could get eliminated during the cooking. Oh my god, that's so scary. Enough. Turn off your range. Give me your apron, please. You have 15 minutes left. Fox and Sox came the five months. Welcome back. Thank you. Some of you. And right now, Joe is going to start collecting some aprons. You have to put them out. Can you lower your mic volume a little? Just a little bit. Does anyone else feel the same way? I, I only want to do it if I get multiple people telling me to. Because I... I Gabriella, turn your stove off. Give me your apron. Okay. Too many technical mistakes. Hi, Brie. Hi, Joe. When Joe Bastianich okay. is two feet away from you, that is terrifying. If I screw up even a little bit, I could be gone in a second. Better? James? Turn okay. around. Hey, We've seen enough. Turn off your ranges. Give me your apron, please. Wow. Okay. It's time to leave the now? competition. Good luck uh, to you, my friend. You are. Good Goodbye. Luck. Well, I did not see Joe coming today, and I'm disappointed. Stupid How about now, ABC? Savannah? Mm-hmm. That's looking really good. Thank you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Brian, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We've seen enough. Time to go home. Please give me your apron. Thank Thanks you very the much. I really appreciate it. I am a little surprised. Um, I really wish I had a little more of an opportunity to use some of my culinary knowledge. Um, but at the same time, I know I'm a little out of my league. There we go. Two minutes to go. Too much, too much. So right now, I'm really on a push. I want to hold on to this apron so bad right now. I'm telling you right now, I'm knocking the competition right out today. The competition right here next to me right here. Let me tell you what, she doesn't have the passion, the heart. Hey, Randall, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. To make it happen today. I'm doing it, baby. 30 seconds to go. Ah. Come on. Finishing touches. Oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop! Woo! Your first challenge is over! Gordon, Joe, and Graham will now take one last look. Based on what they sampled and observed throughout the challenge, they will then divide the remaining home cooks... Dean! ...into three groups. Adriana. Kevin, the pastor. Hearing my name called, I don't know what this means. It could be good or bad. I'm very nervous. I want to see that kitchen. Natasha. Honestly, this competition is twisted. I don't know what's going to happen at any given moment. And finally, Eddie. Some of you have already impressed us enough to know that you belong in the MasterChef kitchen. The good news is Killer Man Carol, thank you for the sub, thank you. Is moving forward to the Master Chef Kitchen. The bad news is the other group is going home. Oh my god, right now I'm so nervous. I want to change my life, change my kids' life. I hope I really, really make it in the kitchen. I'm in the group to the left, and I think that the cooks they had on the right are awesome cooks. I mean, am I going home? What's going to happen? This group here 
you are all going to make it through to the master chef kitchen <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the other group, <laughs> the girls crying. Dude, if the fire was not burning in me before, it is now. Like I am ready to fight. I'm ready to do this. Congratulations. Great job. Yeah. I'm sorry. It just wasn't good enough. Please take your aprons off and leave the competition. The judges are really missing out on Ducky. They will see me in the future. And you know what? I'm going to be there with my head held high and a big smile on my face, because you know what? I'm going to make it. Aww. <laughs> Chef Ramsey's made this decision. I'm still at my station. Are they going to call my name? What's going on? The eight of you that are left, we're not so sure about you. That's why. We want to taste your completed dishes. Please bring your dishes to the front. The judges are tasting our dishes. My heart immediately goes to my throat, and I feel like I can't breathe. OK, we're going to taste each of your completed dishes and then decide who's in and who's out. Malcolm and Samira, please, let's go. I'm a little nervous right now. I'm not prepared to go home yet. I want to get in this MasterChef kitchen bad. Let's go. Malcolm, first up, explain the dish. Uh, lamb trio. I did a sausage with a Dijon cilantro chop, grilled it up medium, and a loin salad. And the lamb, you said, is medium, the temperature. Medium rare. Medium rare. La Brigida X, same with the prime. Thank you. You're right. It's medium rare. Yum. Thank you. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Good flavor. However, it's pretty dry. Each component on its own, there's something that could be better, but you pretty much pulled it off. Samir, let's go, please. Thank you. OK. Explain the dish, please. It's cottagno with a charmelade sauce, and I made a Casablanca couscous with it. And what temperature were you looking at for the lamb? Um, about medium, medium well. That's how I like my lamb. And who are you cooking for, you or the judges? Couscous, done with more seasoning. The lamb is delicious, and that sauce really blends the sweet and sour effect. Thank you. You're welcome, chef. Is this, is this a dish you invented today or something you've done before? No, I invented it today. What did you rub the lamb with? Um, I use a little bit of paprika, I use thyme and oregano. You should have maybe used a little salt. OK. After tasting these two dishes, it's clear only one of you has the skill to progress into the MasterChef kitchen. I need this for my daughter. I need this for myself. I can't come home a loser. Like, I can't do that. Everything is at stake for me. I stopped school, so I have to show my family that I can do this. I think she's wearing contacts. OK. After yeah. Testing. I These got blue contacts. I want to try them on, on but I haven't. Too lazy. To progress into the MasterChef kitchen. Zima one one zero one thing for the prime. Thank you. Don't ruin it. Wait, what? What did I ruin? What? Don't ruin what? Congratulations. Great job. Those chops what did I ruin? I'm so happy. I can't smile. Oh, her. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, my bad. They're real. Oh, I thought I was ruining something else. I got worried. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This really, really, really sucks. 
having to just be sent home like this based on a dish that you thought was your best and just to know that it wasn't enough. It's just, it's heartbreaking. Okay, the next two dishes we want to taste, Johnny and Brian. Johnny, let's taste. Tell me exactly what it is. It's a lamb rangoon with a tzatziki coleslaw, have a red bell pepper, garlic oil, and a ginger mint oil. The hallmark of a good rangoon is having enough filling and not just having the, the crispy wonton wrapper. It's simple. I don't know if it's got enough, you know, oomph to it, but it is tasty. All right, so if it's good, you're in. If it's bad, you go home. What are the flavors in here? In the rangoon or in the, in the coleslaw? Coleslaw. It's um, dill, parsley, Greek yogurt, salt, pepper. Brian, time to taste your dish. Set it up for me. Let me know what it is. It's a Southwest liver and onion with a cactus salad and a boysenberry sauce for the liver. I like my livers uh, a little less cooked. The knife works beautiful. The boysenberry sauce? I was hoping for a little more acid just to kind of cut through that, you know? Just looking at the other dish, um, the gentleman that was just up here, I feel that um, I'll be going to the Master Chef kitchen. Okay. Oh, it's right. him, the eyes! Why you put that on the plate? Because it looks like you murdered the lamb. Splat, splat, splat. Oh, no, his eyes are back. Why does this dish mean so much to you? It's the most beautiful dish that I've cooked, ever. Aww. That's the most beautiful dish you've ever cooked? Yes, it is. Thank you, Brian. Johnny, Brian, both of you are not going to the MasterChef kitchen. Just one of you is. Oh! Oh, God, his eyes got bigger. And that one person is... Johnny, congratulations. <laughs> Please join the others. Johnny. I'm very happy to come here and do this. It was an amazing opportunity. His eyes look really normal here. I'm gonna go back home and do my thing. Blowing up trees, getting me some roadkill, shooting some squirrels. I'm just gonna enjoy How come the like on life. video it's like really big? But okay, here it's Please like chilling. Nancy. And Brie. Nerves. Do I look like Let's that when I play Nancy. games? Tell me about I think I look like that. It's a lamb chop with a roasted red pepper, the cauliflower mint puree, mm -hmm. and artichokes. It's a well-constructed dish. It's intelligent. It has some, like, restaurant thought behind it. I think that this sauce is just kind of like... During Valo? <laughs> way too strong for me. I'm going to disagree. The sauce with the lamb is really good. I like it with the feta as well. The puree, I would have liked it smoother. It's kind of grainy. It almost, you know, comes across as grit. OK, Bree, step forward, please. I call it Four Seasons Lamb, spring, summer, oh. fall, and winter. When's the last That's time cool. you cooked lamb? I'm a vegetarian, so I never cooked lamb. I think the plate's intelligent. I think that if you had more experience cooking and eating meat, you could have made it even better. The purees work. The seasoning you've got right. But it's, you know, less is more. Do one way, stunning, and be really happy with it done beautifully. Thank you, chef. Well, we were impressed with both dishes, but ultimately um, only one of you. Zima one one zero one thing for the prime and La Brugida sing the prime. Oh, I think you. Okay, good. I think they're both good too. Yeah. It's not you. It's Brie. Oh wow! I can't believe you said it's not Thank you. you. It's Brie. Damn.
And then there were two. Let's go. Luca, first, please. OK, explain the dish. It's a loin mm -hmm. that I filled with some uh, sweetbreads, mm -hmm. endive and goat cheese. So where did you see sweetbreads stuffed inside lamb before? Nowhere. Nowhere. So the cook on the lamb, positive. But you're playing a very dangerous game, stuffing a loin with sweetbreads. Thank you, Luca. Thank you. Ah, Luca, why don't you make something you, you know? Because I always have the idea that I want to try to, to do something yeah, that I put this... in my restaurant one day. Is this the time to take that chance? You tell me, sir. We'll tell you. The lamb is tender. Uh, Texture actually... Crew, same oh, with the sub. Well. Sid X1210, same with the sub. Thank see. you. Thank you. Beth, let's go, please. I like her it beret. Is lavender hay roasted loin with buttermilk fried sweetbreads, apricot chutney, mint, and a celeriac and rutabaga puree. Yeah, Luca's from last season. When you cook lamb that fast and let it rest for that length of time, you've got to remove all that sinew. So you've got the temperature absolutely perfect, but you've left her voice. Yeah, I mean that's how I sounded after the fair. Smart, I was screaming my heart out. It was... Wasn't as good. Uh, that lamb could have. I'm been getting old. <laughs> I used to love so roller coasters, but now when I go game, on it, I'm like, wait, great. this is fucking it's scary. Imparts a lot of Jamie zero zero six nine. Thank you for subbing three months in advance. Thank the thing you. The that I really wish that you had done was cook that lamb a little less and then sear it in the pan just at the end to give it a little bit of that caramelized exterior. Thanks. Thank you. Two very different dishes. Both in the sweet place. Beauty Panda, thanks for the 200 bits. Yeah. Thank you. So it's just technique though. What do you think? Ready? Yeah. Um, let me tell you. Two very talented home cooks. Luca. Beth, tough decision this one. Very tough. I really, really want to keep this apron because the chance to be taught by some of the best chefs in the world means everything. Kijiyama, thanks for the tier three and the 43 months. Here, Welcome again, back. Thank you. Year, because I know I can do it. And going home right now is just way too early. You know that not everyone gets a place in the MasterChef kitchen. Let me tell you, two very talented home cooks, Luca. Kitty Panda 2000, thank you for gifting five subs very to tough. the community. Thank you. And you know that not everyone gets a place in the MasterChef kitchen. Beth, your dish was Outstanding. You've made it to the Mouse Chef Kitchen. Great job. Well done. Truly outstanding. When they say my name, I want Luca to make I'm it. Through, <laughs> I mean, like. I know, really we're on a sub train right now. What line. happened? Melvin, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you guys moment. so much. Truly outstanding. Great you meant job. both, right? Or, or. Oh. Luca, listen, I know how hard you've worked to get here. Oh, no. You didn't get this far last season. And you've worked so hard over this past 12 months. Luca! And you know what? I know how much this means to you. Dude, Luca, I would but eat at your restaurant. can come into the MasterChef kitchen. You're a great home cook. Oh. A lot of passion. Keep cooking, please. Oh no, it sounds like he's Do not let getting this rejected. Be the end of your culinary dream. It sounds like he's getting rejected. Let it just be 
the beginning because you've made it. Oh my God, Gordon! The resolve one thing with the seven months. Welcome back, dude. I would have like already been taking my apron off, like walking to the thing. I really thought he was going home. What? I'm going to the Master Chef kitchen. Yeah, my name. Luca. It I lost like five years of my life. But I made it. We love Glad Luca. <laughs> All of you, come and stand in front, please. Well done. Great job. Well done. Well done. Wow. Hashtag we MC finalist. All of you will be in the most incredible, the most amazing kitchen in America. The MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> But believe it, because when I say the competition is on, I mean it is on. Get some sleep, because you're going to need it. Good night and well done. Yay. OK, I might have time for one more episode, because I'm playing out four, and this is a 40-minute video. But I have a announcement coming out on Twitter. I am partnering with Oh fucking loud, Janet. I'm partnered with motherfucking Samsung! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Thank you so much! I am an Odyssey partner. Um, oh, you know. Oh, you know. Thank you. Oh, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very proud. Um, the. Recently came out with a product. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about the product yet. I'm not allowed to. There's, I, I know I'm not allowed to, so I, thank God I didn't. But I'm excited to show you guys soon. It's really cool. Sorry, yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. I thought I was, and then I thought about it, and I was like, wait, I'm not. But anyways, yeah, thanks, chat. Okay, we're going to watch now, just so I can make it in time for the games. But yeah. Thanks, guys. Thousands of cooks have already been eliminated. Oh, okay, okay. Only these yeah, they're coming on with them. Uh... The <laughs> America's next um, master Tentacle, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, it's time for these top home cooks to take their place in the Master Chef kitchen. Spoilers start. Skip. Oh, I, 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 spo I skipped it. Sorry. So I'm the first to walk through, and all I can see is the beautiful kitchen. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this is our home now. The first thing I noticed was the wine room. I just wanted to lock myself in there for like a couple of hours. I'm looking at the equipment room, man. They got top-notch mixers, pressure cookers. They got top-notch everything. I want to become Dang. a great chef, and the only way I can do that is by being here in the Master Chef kitchen. I see a restaurant. Looks like there's a nice plushed out VIP section. Cause you know I'm a VIP type. Of I girl. love I'm her. With those type of areas. Let's go. The Master Chef kitchen is insane. It's just so picturesque. The judges are standing there. There's some of the side rooms and anything and everything you could ever think of. It, it takes your breath away. Welcome. This is the kitchen Thanks, of guys. your dreams. Thanks, guys. the dead All thing with the prime. Thank you. Is to beat Show's a bit low compared to microphone. Cook in here. Um. One of you will win a quarter 
of a million dollars. I'm getting really and tired of changing <laughs> all my settings. With the title that cannot be bought. But I'm just Can feel like the... It's yours. I don't know what to do. to do. I'm so sorry. It's just I feel really defeated because I feel like I keep changing is, it. You need to start and everyone Please, prefers it station. differently. It's time to find out who has what it takes and who just can't cut it in the MasterChef kitchen. Are you ready? Because it's time for your first mystery box challenge. You'll each have to prepare, cook, and present one amazing dish using only the ingredients hidden under those boxes. With every mystery box challenge, you'll have the use of a staple pantry box to help you make one I'm just a people pleaser. Dish. I can't help myself. It's a horrible dish. fucking we'll double-edged sword. In the next stage of the competition, <laughs> I hate myself. we will be watching your every Fuck. move. There's no faking it in here. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. On the count of three, you'll lift those boxes. One. Two. Three. Lift. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my Simply amazing. I'm going up, and I thought this is a It's joke. like four ingredients. I was for a big, nice fish, some steak. What do I have to do with this? One tomato, some amazing bacon, and full of chocolate, and the most incredible single potato. You need to prove to us that you can okay. work with the basics before make a you baked move on to potato. Put the bacon, the add some dice. I thought to myself, like, like this tomato. is so easy and so difficult at the same time. And I don't know what to do with the chocolate. Your Sixty minutes. Whole cap for life. Thank you for gifting now. 10 subs. Thank you. Oh, they got flour and stuff. Excited. It's great. Well, you know they all feel the heat right now. They want to make a good impression. First mystery box. They know that we're expecting a lot. So, Gordon, what would your strategy be? I would take the bacon oh, and the potato cheese, and the tomato and do a stunning chowder. Uh, and then finish it with a really nice basil infused oil. Which Stop. ingredient is the devil in the box? Definitely the chocolate. The devil in the box is the ingredient these contestants should steer clear from. Chocolate seems Today I'm going to be making random. a potato puree. A potato and a tomatoes. chocolate I'm bar. Riff on mole sauce as well as uh, spicy uh, Shrey bacon sauce. Ray K 16 thing for the prime. So Thank you. Opportunity to do it right away. Hit them hard and fast. I'm making a potato and bacon frittata. I feel like I got this in the bag. I'm hearing a lot of people making really plain sounding breakfasts, and I'm doing mine just a little bit bigger. Uh, figured out my other sauce just a moment ago, so I think that'll be pretty killer when I get that on the plate. Mm, tasty. Get creative. Halfway, guys. Let's go. Right, Johnny, how are you doing? What are you making? Tomato and uh, egg potato oh. cake. What's in that? Chocolate mashed potatoes. Just trying to be creative and do a little something different. Creative or stupid? <laughs> I've never, ever seen chocolate and potato together. I'm trying to present it in a different way. Savannah. Hi. Walk me through what you have. I am making a Spanish tortilla de patata with a bacon tomato marmalade. It's simple. Do you think it's it's creative enough to win this? Well, I think it's going to look beautiful. And, you know, I want the competitors to feel like I'm someone to watch out for. Right, out. Hello, Gordon. How are you doing? So you're melting the chocolate directly in the pan, coating it in bacon? Yes, I am. And baking a little bit of potatoes and uh, seeing if it works out. Holy crap. What's the dish? I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I'm working as I go, and hopefully it'll all come together. I'm going to do a lemon tart with a bacon ganache, and then do a whipped cream on top of vanilla. Everyone's competition here for me, but Kathy and Chrissy are the biggest talkers here. They don't know what they're doing, and they should just go home. Hey, Chrissy, Hello, what do you boys. got for us? I made a uh, frittata. It's pretty simple. I make this for my kid all the time. He loves it. You have a big personality. I do. 
How does that come across to your fellow contestants in the kitchen? You think some people yeah. like you, some people hate you? Oh, Howard, Natasha, they hate me. Are they afraid of you? I think so. Start visualizing that dish. Wow. Think of your presentation. Come on. I'm making a potato hash with a poached egg over the top with a little bit of cremolata on the side, I'm trying to make sure I get it all done in time. Just over five minutes to go. And to me, Shanze, with the two months. Right. Welcome back. Thank Start you. Plating, finishing your dishes, and making something incredible out of that mystery box. Uh, what do you mean, Matt? Some amazing stuff out there. Yeah, some tasty, tasty I mean, dishes. I mean, Natasha's tart, though. You should see the pastry. I mean, yeah. beautiful. Bethy, she's already made yolky and wow. bread. Wow. On the other hand, I am seeing some disastrous combinations. Mm -hmm. Really? A chocolate mash. Right. Yeah. Chocolate coated bacon. Trust me, that is not the way to get yourself noticed in this competition. 60 seconds to go. Finishing touches, guys. This challenge can be won or lost in the last 30 seconds. Presentation is key. No. Ten, I don't know when nine, we're watching it eight, next. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Let's go. Move. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. In this year's first challenge in the Master Chef Kitchen, our home cooks yeah, are given the, the last most episode basic mystery today, box ever and then I'm playing to create games. one stunning dish. After observing and sampling throughout the challenge, the judges now take one final look to identify three standout dishes. There are three dishes. I'll let you guys know when I'm watching amazing. it next another Tasted time. Maybe incredible. later really today or something. Out. One of these three cooks be the winner and that but i'm really busy for the rest of the month it'll probably be in august the competition the first dish that we would like to look at again that dish belongs to busy tomorrow beamy great job yes Woo! yep that bell is wrong and i'm coming sometime at you, in you august have your guard up because if not i'm knocking out the competition explain the dish please Maybe Wednesday is egg, free. I don't know. Potato hash with a tomato and basil salsa with a granulata on the side. So the secret of this is to slice through the egg and you want that yolk almost enriching the potato. Show yes. me the yolk. I just simply poach the egg perfectly. Show me the yolk. Yes. Wow. I mean, that is Good job. Dish has got finesse. It's seasoned beautifully. Great start. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Thank you. It's acidity. There's sweetness from the, the caramelization on the potato. Smokiness with the bacon. I'm, I'm very excited. Thank you, Chef. On the list, Eggs Benedict you know, is on my list. This dish so. smells a little bit like a fake to me. You're a boxing coach from Eastern Massachusetts. Where did you experience food like this before? I haven't. You saw it in a book. Where'd you come up with this? Truthfully, yeah. I, see, I um, go through books and I just look at pictures to get ideas for plating. Does this represent you on a plate or are you trying to deceive us? It represents where I want to be as a chef. Dude, what happened to Joe? Like, he's so distrustful this season. He's like, are you bamboozling me? Where your head looks good. Thank you, Chef. Are I you just being hope now fake? Now that you throw up a big flare like this, that you could walk the walk. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Chef. Great stuff. All right. The second person that made it into the top three, they cooked a delicious, scrumptious dessert that looked like any dessert that you'd find in our restaurant. That dish belongs to. Why does that souffle look broken into Natasha. already? Well done. Of course I'm proud of myself. I'm not here to just look pretty on camera and, and chop some basil. Like, I'm here to be better than everyone. I, How are you? I'm awesome. At some point, maybe I'll go up to her and say, look, I know we have our differences, but good job. But I probably won't, because I can't stand them. Tell me exactly what's in it. A lemon curd pie tart with a chocolate ganache incorporated with bacon fat with a meringue.
a lot of finesse. Great flavors. Good job. That Thank does you. look really fucking good. The technical ability of rendering the bacon fat, putting that together with the cocoa fat, and not allowing it to break is actually quite rare, let me tell you. It's layer upon layer upon layer, which is the sign of a great Personality, I, I can't like wait Chris. to see what you've got in the next round. Is it Chrissy? Like Chrissy more. This dish you could buy at a patisserie in Paris or at a three-star restaurant in New York. Wow. I'm thinking, what is the message to us? You're saying, well, I'm Natasha. I'm serious. I'm here to win. And turn around. You know what you're saying to the rest of them? Kiss my ass. <laughs> OK, Her the little... third dish was seasoned <laughs> to perfection. Three people made frittata. So <laughs> but this one frittata was as good as my Joe mother. is stirring the motherfucking pot. And that dish belonged to Chrissy. Come on up. I am shocked to hear that Chrissy's name is called. Anyone can do a frittata. Explain the dish, please. Okay. It's a bacon yeah. potato frittata. Ladies, and a ladies. Tomato basil salad. Calm down. It's it's delicious. Here's the thing, you know, a couple of dollars of ingredients uh, turned into something magical, done with uh, absolute honesty, because that's what it is on that plate. You'll want to watch them. Let's play. go. The rivalry. At times, in a competition like this, we don't always get full-flavored seasoning because people are afraid. You come out of the box with that type of aggressive seasoning and flavors, it's telling me that you're a confident cook and you're going to cook us food that we're going to want to eat. Good job. Thank you. Great, tough one. Yeah. Oh, tough. and she has to stand next to and Natasha, and she's like, Beanies for this. This top three don't mean nothing. The uh, only thing that means something to me is This dude is just on his own island. Like, he doesn't feel the tension between them. He's just, just like, man, I hope I, I made it. it. I have a smirk on my face. <laughs> and they're just like. To that podium. Chrissy's food was <laughs> extremely yummy. Don't get me wrong. I definitely want the advantage, but I definitely want to beat Natasha. <laughs> three amazing dishes. But only one could be the winner. The most outstanding dish today in your first Mystery Box Challenge. Congratulations goes to... I wanted to go to Chrissy. Three amazing dishes. But only one could be the winner. The most outstanding Natasha's hair today routine. Your first it looks Box like challenge. she's never the colored her hair in her life. Like, it's just so healthy. goes to... Well done, Natasha. Great Woo! job. Really good job. I'm excited and I'm happy. I'm winning, so these people need to watch out. Amazing. Let her have her moment. Oh my I god. Don't think it's gonna last very long. For winning today's mystery box, you get to come into the I don't Master really Pantry hate Natasha. And find out your huge advantage. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. Well There's done. just a rivalry between her and Chrissy, but she is like it's the last person I thought it would be. I know, I thought it would be really cool. Not her. Yeah. She's just As very the winner of the mystery box challenge. Confident Natasha in your face kind of confident. Like, like just pantry. now when they announced she won it, usually Here, they're like, oh my god, yay! Woo! But she went test. like this. Entry, I'm <laughs> to the other people. It is just like okay. <laughs> Natasha now gets to choose the style of food. And like or she the just dish like showing off. To the, I mean, it rubs the people. The, you know, it's a competition, the so like it challenge. probably rubs them that the wrong in the way. Of the judges. Welcome to the most amazing MasterChef pantry. This is the place where one home cook gets the chance to be in control of everybody else's destiny. The tap on the butt part. Make well, Joe right said, in here. kiss my and ass. you could be sending your toughest so. competitors home. Now, in the Mystery Box Challenge, we gave you the most basic of ingredients. 
but a true master chef knows how to handle the most refined ingredients. Natasha, are you ready to see? Yeah, what she backs up her talk. I'm absolutely ready. This staple of European cuisine, one of the finest seafood ingredients that money can buy. That's why I don't dislike her too much. Langoustine. Because I feel like An she's cooking well. You pay upwards of fifty dollars for a dish. I don't like it when someone's anymore. like cocky confident protein? and it's like they're That's not even good it's like a bronze like talking shit to me because they killed me once in valorant bitch fuck off the first cut veal chop <laughs> this is a chef's dream but natasha <laughs> i think i've got something under here even more high-end and beautiful than yeah like two. ryan it's unique it's so special it's only allowed to be produced by five farms in the entire world. Wow. In the hands of the wrong cook, out there, this could be a disaster. Christian also backed up his talk. Okay, Christian was cocky, but he was also, he said Stunning. something really sexist. Stilton blue cheese. This. It was the sexism for me that did it in. I was like, dollars. okay, no. Wow. So That's Natasha, too much. Are you confident that you would be able to cook something amazing with one of these ingredients? Not all of them, no. Well, fortunately for you, you do not have to. You will not be cooking in this elimination challenge. Wow. Mm. Wow. So, now you get to pick which ingredient all of your fellow competitors will be cooking with. Okay. Who do you want to send home? Christy. <laughs> She is. She's competition, definitely. She knows food. She's definitely a threat. In my mind, I'm running. What is going to get her out of this they competition? Just, like, what is going to be her failure? You point? know. Which of these ingredients? It's like like a risk. It sounds respectable. No, I you know, she's like, well, Chrissy is a good comp. Like she's just good. And she could have been like, like Christian would have been like. Be no, they Tasha. suck. They don't Make deserve to be here. You know? Like, she was like, right, Chrissy knows because food. Natasha won I don't know. The There's a difference. Challenge. There's a difference. She is safe from elimination tonight. Natasha's second advantage was picking which ingredient all of you will be cooking with today. But she has a third advantage that even she doesn't know yet. Natasha, you now get to choose one more person to join you up there in the gallery. Wow. wow. And be safe from elimination today. Oh my god, Chrissy's like, it ain't if gonna Natasha be was me. Smart, she'd pick somebody really weak that she knows she can knock out later and leave the strongest contenders on the ground. She's not gonna pick me. I don't Imagine. feel she's gonna choose me because she knows I'm a competitor. She won't be choosing Jesse. She will not be choosing Lynn. She wants to put us on the floor to see if we can burn ourselves down. Who is going to be so joining basically, you if you get picked, it's like today. Thank you, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pick Savannah. Wow, Savannah, you look surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised, but I'm very happy. Thank you. You're now safe oh, girl. from elimination. I chose Savannah because in a competition to come, I'll be able to take her out. We started out today with basic ingredients. And now we are going to challenge Savannah you know? with ingredients that are much harder to work with. She's getting marinated. Natasha chose the most amazing, stunning, beautiful, Langoustine. Oh, I thought they were gonna and pick blue for at cheese. Least one of you, this langoustine will be your undoing. I don't know what it is. I've never seen it. I didn't even know what he said at first. I was like, what? A loo, a who? I love I'm Sasha. Like Please, I hope she times. makes it to the. I, I don't know. She's just overcook. so fun you know, to watch. I had like to listen to like, her commentary it. all day. Like, <laughs> you're all gonna f this up. When this challenge is over, at least one of you will be leaving the competition for good. 60 minutes. Stop. Yeah, she's my Monty. Now. 
My Ben Star. As Natasha and Savannah enjoy the safety of the Master Chef Lounge, the remaining home cooks must now choose the ingredients to make There's one she's just laughing the way dish. she's running. I can hear her laughing. At least one home cook will be sent home. I spent three years in the army. You know, all we would do is talk about what we were gonna do when we got home. And what I want to do is to try to win this competition. Oh my god, his name is Howard. Howard Jordan, you want nothing not there? in your mouth. Right now, we're testing them like we've never tested these contestants before. Mm -hmm. Day one of the kitchen, we've gone from a humble potato to one of those luxurious items anywhere. Right. Well, someone has to be able to show us the range from simple to super complex. This is raw with difficulty because <laughs> you can overcook it. And once you overcook it, it's inedible. Hey, Luca. What do you got? I'm making uh, fettuccine with saffron, langoustine, which I cooked with some brandy, white wine, cherry tomatoes, garlic. So another pasta from you. Is so that what we're going to get as Italian food? Oh, my God, uh, he's like Frank. Frittata. Frittata, which is Italian. Absolutely. The pasta is Italian. Who's going home with the langoustine today? I heard Malcolm that he was a little bit scared. I am making a langoustine mac and cheese. He's a little scary looking, but I know the flavor is going to be there. I make lobster mac and cheese all the time. As long as I can nail this langoustine, I should be fine. Right, Howard, on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you? I'm about a 9. Wow, I like that. What are you doing? I uh, poached the shellfish and I made a fruit champagne vinaigrette. Well, you've got very fruity. You put strawberries in there as well? I did, yes. When was the last time you saw strawberries in Longestine? I never have. Somebody's going home to them. It's not going to be me. Who is it? Not. I think it's going to be mac and cheese girl over here. Mac and cheese girl? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't think mac and cheese and, uh, and the shellfish would go well together at all. But strawberry definitely go with it. Yeah, I what the fuck, have never dude? never instantly hated someone so much. Stop attacking and my girl Chrissy. just an epic fail at cooking. Can't wait till you go home, Oh, Howard. my God, for why? What did Chrissy ever do? OTF3, thank you for the sub, thank you. Stop thinking. Execution, presentation. At the end of this first elimination challenge, at least one home cook will leave the Master Chef Kitchen. Does Chrissy hate everyone? No, everyone hates Today I'm Chrissy. Today making a, kind of a deconstructed chowder with langoustine. I'm going to throw Everyone's some fruit in there for, for nice her. balance of acid. And the cream sauce's base is going to be basil and some vanilla bean. i got to reestablish myself here in this competition. Yeah. She poached it, and now she's putting it in the stew. They're going to be so tough. Watch out for the underdog, boo. You underestimated the wrong person. Well, that's why I'm up here, and you're down there. It's all good, though. Oh! Next time, I'll be up there. Your ass will be down here. over here. It's all good. I ain't afraid of her. She'll probably keep cooking. Shut your mouth. 20 oh minutes God. to go. Start making sure your longest things are the hero. So ladies, ladies. What's going on? Well, honey, I'm going to keep it southern and traditional with some cheese grits. Dude, cheese grits oh, my God. Yes, honey, you ain't never had lobster <laughs> grits before. <laughs> very, very delicate. You sure you want to put cheese on it? This going to work yes, out. Yes, honey. Done. You ain't never had this before. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, Jesse, what are you doing? I'm doing the tails right now. You're frying the tails, right? Yep, and just doing the little tempura batter. I spiced it up with some cayenne in there. You're from Georgia. You've never cooked with Longazine before? No, sir. Someone's going home tonight. Is it you? No, it's not going to be me. I made my version of a stuffed shrimp. You know, I've never cooked with this, but it kind of looks like shrimp. So hope I didn't overmask the Legastine with the uh, bold flavors that I put in it. Tastes good to me, so. It's all in the judges' hands now. All right, what are your predictions now? I love Jessie's Luca. This is sounding delicious, yeah. really delicious. She's indeed. cooking really beautifully. And the way she fried those tails was amazing. I think that one of the best is Jordan. The flavors he's working with Ooh. are really delicious, so I'm hoping that he can pull it off. And Sasha massacred the langoustines. Right. They're like basically ground shrimp meat. 60 seconds to go. Do not let these last few seconds of plating bring you down. One dish to keep you in the competition. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. Stand back. Hands up. Well done. Let's see how you did. 
OK, Chrissy. A mac and cheese is not creative. That's simple. That's easy. I don't think she can think outside of the box. Tell me about the dish. I've made a langoustine mac and cheese. Why do you think Natasha picked langoustine? The trip us up, especially me. Why? Because she hates me. She hates you? Oh, absolutely. Why would she hate you? I have no idea. You don't even know each other. Exactly. It looks bomb. Good balance of flavor. Rich. I want to eat good. it. Thank you. Hmm. I can make mac and cheese, too. I think the langoustines cook perfectly. It's very sweet. Really yummy. Okay, Natasha. I didn't think I was going to like it, because it looks clumsy and sort of uh, out of place. What you haven't done is fallen flat on your face. Sorry, Natasha. That may have come back to bite you hugely on the ass. let me tell you. Ah! You tried, you feel. <laughs> You're going to have to do better than that, sweetheart. Oh my god. Is that two dishes you've done? I oh, this is the broth, the cream that. sauce that will go with this. <laughs> what is that? It's my interpretation kind of on a lobster bisque. I started with shallots and some bacon, then I had some finger link potatoes. I threw a little bit of garnish about oh, avocado. Oh, then Chrissy bits. went to Natasha. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. It's got finesse. The balance of the flavor is delicious. Now that you're there, Stay there. You got it, Chef. Good job. Yay! I like Jordan, too. You've got this gorgeous crispy bacon, perfectly cooked langoustine. Visually, it looks beautiful. Thank you. This is uh, the best that I've had so far. Good job. Well done. Great job. Howard, let's go, please. Did you oh. disappear into the library for half an hour? No, I didn't. I have six minutes what left. What is it, please? I oh made no! A All right, chat. Salad with a champion vinaigrette, diced mangoes, sliced grapefruit. Sorry, we don't got a lot of time. Get rid of half the plate. I eat three slices of lemon. What have you been doing across the last sixty minutes? I got straight on my vinaigrette. I, I can't see any vinaigrette. I mean, Graham, do you see any vinaigrette on there? No, oh, sorry, I see no vinaigrette. This is a joke. I don't know what to say. You know I'm not a rabbit, and yet you serve me food that's fit for this a rabbit. This is hunch. so weird to watch. Well, I am blown away. I'm shocked. In fact, I'm not going to eat it. Oh my God, the music. Everyone, how good you were. <laughs> You're in a landslide. You know, this is a waste of our time. At this point, if it were up to me, I throw you out. I put my ass on the line for you, and that's the you give me. <gasps> Joe's throwing food. There's a big chance. I'm Yo, watching this on double speed is making it more this intense. It's a waste of our time. And if it were up to me, I throw you out. And how if you're having a tough time and it's a meltdown and you're a spent force, I'll put you out your misery. Absolutely not, Chef. But that's the best you can do. Then you are in the wrong kitchen. Uh, Luca. It's the saffron fettuccine with lamb which I use with white wine. Long as he's way overcooked, what this has confirmed is that you're a one-trick pony because take pasta away from oh, you. No. That's Lynn. Tell me what you made. Post langoustine in um, coconut and pine nuts over a lime bird blanc, roasted bees, and a crispy kale chip. I like the flavor of that against the natural sweetness of the langoustine. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Next up, Kathy. Wow. Like, who is this I guy? We never more, see him on langoustine. screen. I stuffed the rice Lynn? with langoustine. Like, what? Where the fuck did this guy come from? I don't think this type of dish respects the product. This is Master Chef. It's just a little boring. I don't think that's how you play the game. <sighs> Next up, Sasha. Please bring us. Oh, perfection. Sasha, let's go. Voila. First of all, it looks like someone's pooped on the plate. Mm. What is that? That is the langoustine <laughs> on top of cheese grits. Mm. And where are the langoustines? <laughs> on top of the cheese grits. That's my poop. Oh, there they are there. It's actually right your depth on that dish, because it doesn't taste nice at all. Oh. The combination is just all wrong. I give you $50 worth of langoustine, and you give me this. It's it worth now. <laughs> With the grits, I'll say 55 This is probably worth 55 cents. Mm. Thanks for nothing. Oh my god, stop. I love Jessica, Sasha. Sir. She takes it Bring so well. I have no idea how my langoustine is cooked on the inside. I won't find out until they're cutting into it, and that's nerve wracking. What is in here? What am I looking at? I did it some pureed tail and some shiitake mushrooms and rainbow Swiss chard to go with it. A fried langoustine? And you can see, I mean, it's perfectly coated. 
perfectly seasoned. Really good. Awesome. Great Thank job. Thank you so much. This piece, that for me is one of the best longest things I've tasted. Really good job. Wow. Jesse's definitely on my radar right now. Sukiko, one three one thing for the sub. Thank you. So All right, next up, Malcolm. In the middle. Yeah, I see Malcolm's dish. He has a ton of box of pasta on there, and I see an epic fail. Uh oh. What is it? I need a stuffed lacing tail over a bit of pasta. Does that look good properly? Um, I was going for a medium, but I'm not sure. It's a little rare to me. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, thanks for subbing three months in advance. I didn't see that. Thank you. Yeah, the music's popping. I've never tasted a stuffed longusine tail. There's certain cardinal rules, and you just overstep one. Yes, chef. There were some outstanding dishes, which is a joy. Unfortunately, there were some absolute disasters. And we give you the very best. We just want your very best back. We need a moment to discuss. Who's okay, discuss soon because I got three minutes. You know what I mean? When you look at, like, there's three top, I mean, real top dishes. Steam oh, Rice 41, thank you for the 35 months. Welcome back, thank you. Disasters. What happened? I'd rather just not talk about it. Thank you. I gotta go play just Goose Goose have. Duck, bruvs. Go! Yeah, I'm going home. I don't think so. That's how it is. They all tasted my food. Nobody's getting my food now. That's some difficult yeah. decisions. Back to your stations, please. Thank you. In this elimination test, Joe Gray and myself thought there were two really outstanding dishes that were above and beyond their competition. The first dish, it was beautifully cooked. That dish belonged to Jordan. Chrissy! Great job. Wow, Joe, that was fast. Continue cooking like that. You single-handedly will take out anybody. Thank you, chef. But the winning dish, and this person will, like Jordan, become a team captain in your first real field challenge. Okay, this don't worry, chat. Lots of risks I know someone is going to be later than me. Belongs to. Congratulations, Jesse. Like, Great I job. know my friends. There's always but someone or some people late, you know? Were not just disappointing, but nowhere near Spot. the MasterChef standards. And at least one of these home cooks will be going Copium. home shortly. The first dish... I won't be the latest. And just a total waste of that luxury ingredient. Please, <laughs> step forward, Howard. When Howard's name is being called, I'm extremely happy because <laughs> I hate him. The second disastrous <laughs> dish. Please, step forward. No, not Sasha. Malcolm. They're going to call Sasha up. And the third dish that was a total not failure tonight girl, was Sasha. all the place. It used a selection of ingredients that should never go together. Combinations oh, of flavors that I hope never to have to taste Chocolate, again. Chocolate, mashed potatoes. Please step forward. Is it that guy? And the third dish that was a total failure tonight was all over the place. Please step forward. Oh, that was earlier? Oh, right, right, right. It Sasha. was. No, Sasha. Guys, you have to this competition. You have to cook as if your life depends on it. That's what it's going to take to win this competition. Sasha, I worry that you are a one-trick pony that's just comfortable making... No, she's not. Leave her alone. No, chef, give me another chance so that you can taste what I can really do. Malcolm, if you're going to take longest things and stuff them, understand what you're stuffing because they weren't even cooked. Have you peaked? No, chef. Howard, you delivered a underwhelming bland spinach mango salad. Anything to say? <clears throat> I just overthought it. Overthought it? No, you underthought it. I, just, I grabbed too much from the pantry and started out doing too much and got overwhelmed and went too simple and that's, that was my product. Malcolm, step forward. You're staying. Back on the section. Yeah! Fastest elimination ever. Oh, Not usually it takes forever. With both of your dishes, but we do see a glimmer of potential more in one of you than the other. Sasha, we believe that you are staying at the end of the road. What? I'm sorry. Your time is done in MasterChef. Howard, back on your station, please. No fucking way. Sasha, you, you arrived at this competition. You came in with heart and you came in with soul. It's not the end of the road. You I shall continue to cook. Up. No, worst yes. episode Who ever. Is America's next MasterChef. Um, worst Chrissy. episode ever. Chrissy. Yeah. Thank you. How right dare station you? I had no idea, not even a dream, to make it this far. You know, and one doorknob hits you in the ass, and the other doorknob will open it and let you in. So, honey, this is not the last that you will see of Sasha Fox. I love you, Sasha Fox. Next time on Master Okay, Chef. okay, okay, okay. Woo, I'm going to be on time, be on time. Pepe Meltdown, Pepe Meltdown. Okay, okay, okay. All right, chat. I'm going to... 
end stream and restart stream. It'll be fast, like one second. You'll see, you'll not see me, and then you'll see me. I just want to separate my Master Chef VOD and my game VOD because, yeah. All right, I'll be back fast. Wait, let me change my title so it's easier. Goose, goose, duck. Goose, goose, duck. Okay, I'll be back fast.